Yeah! <laughs> it's the fucking real hero. Look at him. Eat a dick, Cloud. Oh, I was wondering, are we going to get like the PlayStation intro on this? Oh, man. I was curious. Like, they couldn't have done that, obviously. No, not on, an, not on an Xbox, not on an Xbox. But yeah, I think first things first, we have to say that fucking thumbnail, though. Which you've not seen, have you, Lucas? I've not seen the thumbnail. I'm excited. The audience. The audience at home has seen the thumbnail, so I'm going to send it to you now, Lucas. It's on your phone. That thumbnail, though. Oh! <laughs> so, Layla, again, knocking it out of the fucking park. Find links to her socials below. She's incredible. She's a friend of the channel, and I'm so happy I have access to that resource of... Just, yeah, me and Luke's going to play Final Fantasy VIII. Could you just draw a sick art of us in? She's like, say no more. <laughs> Do you want to be Squall? I'm like, I'll be Squall. Lucas can be Zelt. Done. Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> fucking, incredible. Fucking nailed it. And Lucas, right, before we like get right... Oh, God, is it going to start straight away? Is it? Is it? Oh, it is. Oh, fuck it. I guess straight into... Oh, God, I definitely need to go black on your Yeah, screen. no device. Oh, no. fucking Elgato. Oh, God. Oh, shit. No, I accidentally pressed Titanfall. Oh, God, damn. <laughs> we don't play Titanfall. There we go. And I guess before we like, hit new games, I was worried it's going to start the cutscene. Right. Um, what's your experience with Final Fantasy VIII? Uh, so my experience with Final Fantasy VIII is I actually got given it when it was out on the PS1 by my dad. I'd never heard of Final Fantasy before. Mm -hmm. And he walked in and went, this game's got four discs, go. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know what a JRPG is. I've only played Pokemon. Let's see, have you completed it? Uh, so I believe I've got to like the end of disc one and a couple of times, and I think that's all I've done, or maybe a little bit past that. I can't quite remember. Okay, well, I've got a similar story where um, back in the day, Joe, when you could chip a console, I had a chipped yeah. PS1 and borrowed this game off my cousin, who didn't know it was four discs. <laughs> so he lent me the first disc, and I liked the game so much, I completed the first disc over and over and over again, and just mm -hmm. thought that was the end of the game. <laughs> it wasn't until years later, and you know this story, where a friend of mine lent me a PS1 mm -hmm. um, in university, and gave me Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII, but they didn't have a memory card, so I had to leave the PlayStation 1 on. Oh, yeah. So I completed Final Fantasy VII, and then got to the end of this game, got to the final boss fight, couldn't do it because I had to do fucking um, uh, essays and shit and turn the PlayStation off by accident. Yeah. <laughs> and then went, well, I'm not playing 50 fucking hours again. And then I continued to play it. Uh, and then I had another playthrough with a ex-girlfriend and we named the main characters after ourselves. And then we broke up. And That's the cool. mission I got up to is the mission where Renoa's in space and you've got to save her. And it's just like, save your ex-girlfriend. I'm like, no. <laughs> so I didn't play it again. Then I got it on the Switch and again got to the final boss fight, but over-leveled and couldn't beat the final boss fight. So I've never actually beaten this game properly, but I know the ending because I've like pl I've watched many playthroughs of it and I've um, uh, I, I just got... I'm going to watch the ending on YouTube because this game has adaptive um, enemy leveling. So the higher mm. level you are, the harder the enemy is to kill. And there's like a sweet spot you can nail where it makes the game super fun and easy. But yeah. if you over-level, like I do, because I like the game, it's just a fucking nightmare slog. You can't beat anything. Everything is a one-hit kill. And it's really counterintuitive because most JRPGs, especially at the time, taught you to grind it out yeah, so, so hard. So there's a sweet spot you can hit. But without further ado, fuck it. Let's... Oh! oh, man, that feels weird. It does. Look at that. No ran You can turn no random battles on. Yeah, and we can, um, I believe, like, yeah, three times speed. Three times speed is the like only that. one I want just for travelling and grinding. Yeah. Because the grinding in this game is actually pretty fun. And this cutscene, man. This fucking cutscene blew my mind as a kid. Well, last thing, I, as I said, I didn't know what Final Fantasy was. I put this in my PS1 and was like... <gasps> like, the fuck? This is... What? This is running on a PS... And keep in mind, folks at home, this game came out, I think, a year and a half after Final Fantasy VII. Mm -hmm. And remember what Final Fantasy VII's graphics look like. And this is on the Very same blocky. console a year mm -hmm. later. It, I, I can't I, believe it, the rate they churned FF games out back in the back day. In, I can't believe how good this game looks compared to Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking incredible. And if someone at home saying this game's look great, fuck off. In context <laughs> of the time, it's one of the best looking video games that got released. For that oh, console, it, it ever. it really, really pushed the graphics at the time of just gaming. Which is Especially why in the cutscenes. Because look at this. 
Like, this is the reason that Square went over to PlayStation from Nintendo. Because they, PlayStation was the only thing strong enough to run. Also, as well, I fucking love this shot. Oh, oh the feather. Oh, forest gum. And then it goes up into the air. Oh. But yeah, they, they needed CDs to be able to do shit like this. Yeah, and then Lucas. Oh! Look at this dumb oh, shit! The gun blade! Yeah. Ting! Gun blade. Who put a fucking revolver in that in An that Absolute sword? fucking legend, Lucas. That's <laughs> just it. a hero. Oh, the edge. Is he the real hero? Seifer, Squall. Look at his badass. Oh! Those feathers look really good. Oh, God. It, um, it all looks really good considering when this game came out. And if anyone's wondering, all this stuff here, like the long flowing hair, is virtually impossible to do. It's one of the most mm -hmm. difficult things. Like that rough on her collar there. One of the most difficult things to animate, and they put all that shit in as a flex to show they could. Yeah, just to show the fuck off. Like Squall's jacket there, initially, it was a lot less fluffy, but the design thing, uh, Nomura went, no, make it bigger. Why? To show that we can. Because no <laughs> other game has ever put fur tech in their CGI cutscenes before. We're going to fucking do it. Yeah, yes. so let's bear in mind, like, this game, I think it was 99, this game came out. So this is like. The same time that you got fucking golden eye on the N64. Yeah, keep that in kid. mind. Like, if you... oh no, not golden eye, but like Banjo Kazooie or some shit. Mm. Maybe. Like, I'm not uh, getting my timelines quite in time, but just imagine like well, Ocarina do a, do a quick time Google came search, out a year the, ago. Because the intro is quite long. Yeah, true. It's got, like, go have a look. What other games came out this year? For con also as well. Look at his gun. He's also got a gun blade, but he's got like a nine millimeter, and you've got a revolver. <laughs> oh, Sifu, no, you prick. Uh, oh, okay, so Silent Hill came out this year. Well, Silent Hill looked pretty good as well. Uh, but it another... did, but at the same time, that, that game was covered in just fog. Uh, um, well, Silent got, Hill, like, the cool Donkey scenes Kong in it, 64. Yeah, Silent Hill looked really good because, again, it was done as a flex. It was one crazy motherfucker did all the cutscenes for that game. Yeah, yeah. And that's why they look so good. So he basically spent his entire life doing it. And, oh! I'm fancy so, too. Honestly, too, yeah, I've got it for the Game Boy Advance. Oh. I play it. And also, I'm not sure about you, Lucas, but we're playing a squall. Where, oh, you, pl okay, where right. you play a JRPG, um, I'm playing as the main character. I'm playing a squall. I'm not playing as, like, butt fart. I'm Carl. Well, I was going to suggest, you know, oh, sorry, the classic squall. butt fart as a name, but, you know. No, we're we'll playing a squall, squall. But we will <laughs> name the Guardian Forces. Like, like, keep all of the characters the right names. But, but we can name, like, our Guardian songs. Forces. Ever the fuck you want. So, yeah. So, um, that cutscene is what just happened. We were training with Sifa, and he slashes across the face. Yeah. And we're going to get some bad pronunciations in this because there's never been a canonical explanation of the pronunciation for these names. No. <laughs> so, um, which is brings us to Keystis or Quistis. I, it's, I just can't run away. That's the thing. No one knows. I think it's only ever been said once in an interview with the guy and it's Keystis, he says. Oh, uh, okay. But I always said Quistis because that's what I said as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there she is. Yeah. She's a teacher. She really does look like a student there, doesn't she? Well, I think she's supposed to be 18. She's like one of the youngest instructors they've ever had. Right. That's how they explain it. But I do you think she's got a very good design? Yeah. Like, as far as Final but... Fantasy hair goes, it's not too insane. I think in terms of this cast of characters, though, she has one of the lesser memorable designs. But she, she uses a whip. Yeah, that's true. The instructor. Fuck yeah! Well, oh, Lucas, you know it. <laughs> this is it. I need to show off my... Si hey, ladies. Like, no! Oh, damn it. She is the impenetrable wall, this look. Can I get past? I'm more complex. No, you're not. You, you are a main character in a JRPG, mate. You are the most simple of all of them. <laughs> but tell me more about yourself. There's nothing to say. Oh, look at Turn away. Yeah, Fuck tell you. me more about yourself as he's just like, nah, nah. Oh, God, she's finishing my sentences. Already. Perfect couple, Carl. And then this fucking blew my mind as a kid. Oh, yeah, the oh. transition. Seamless, but I'm in it. You, I think if you get really far forward, you are in this and you can run around for a bit. <laughs> There's plenty of times you can do it where you're still on screen. Oh, yeah. So we're in Balam Garden. Fuck yeah, Balam Garden. That's kind of why I really like the sci fi ish um, Final Fantasies because they have such fantastical designs of the world. That's why my other... This is my favourite Final Fantasy game. I, I say that knowing I've never completed it because I love it so much I play it too much and it makes it really difficult. Mm. So it's today's schedule. But like Final Fantasy X is my other favourite one specifically for that reason where it's the uh, the juxtaposition of magic and technology. 
Yeah. Which is like a key point, but so there'll be some rumours flying. Look at see look at that fucking douchebag. God, that desk is massive. <laughs> oh, what's Cifa done? Do not injure your partner. So yeah. People always wonder why like a, a students kicking the shit out of each other. This is a uh, mercenary training school. We're mercenaries. I was gonna say, like, when is it that this playthrough just gives up on playing the game and just becomes triple triad? Don't worry, Lucas. Oh, so we've got to ask <laughs> selfie, she's okay. Oh yeah. Cool. You've got to be nice that she's one of the most useful members of your party. There. I am very uncomfortable with how short a skirt is though. It's a school skirt, isn't it? I know, but that's not acceptable, Cat. Lucas, it's for battle. Did you just come from that class? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, no. So you don't actually lose anything for doing this. Uh, but she's asked, can you give her a tour? And all the tour does is for you, the player. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to take the tour? I know where everything is, but we can do the tour just to be nice to selfie if you like. Let's be nice to selfie, then. Let's be nice to selfie, then. So I'm taking the seat exam today. Maybe I'll see you again later. I've already finished my training. Someone is that. just hauling ass in the background. You can see him, can't you? <laughs> He's late for class. So let's save the game, shall we? Access the menu. And you can challenge this guy's cards as well. He's fucking good. He'll, he'll beat us, so we'll leave. <laughs> because we, the cards we have are not good enough yet. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh. Imagine playing like with an original Yu-Gi-Oh deck and then going against right. someone who's got like fucking um, uh, Synchro Summons and all that bollocks. That's oh, the God, equivalent of what it's like playing with his first deck. So until we get better cards, we're not going to do anything. I once we've got some decent cards... Like, um... I went to, uh, like, you know, a just very casual, quote-unquote, Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament There's in a no card shop. Thing. No such thing. Yeah, exactly. And um, I yeah. had my my very classic Yu-Gi-Oh! deck with, like, a couple of, Your harpies like, deck. newer cards in it, but not new cards. And then I uh, played against someone who looked about 14, and they so we took go. their first turn and won. That was it. So, so here it one is. Uh, speaking of names that are hard to pronounce, I had to check this. I think it's... Um, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl sounds about right, yeah. I think it's that because it's um, uh, like the Mesoamerican um, spirit. But, Lucas, what are we calling it? Confirm. Because that was then... something I was thinking of last night. Of like, oh, what what can we do to like and then name Shiva. the characters? So, Shiva, the Ice Princess. And then yeah. put Lass at the end. So, so a few things. Oh, God, you do not need... I should be able to say, no, I fucking know. Mm. And here's the super important thing here. Because you, your GFs can learn abilities. Right. And the abilities, uh, these ones here, like, oh, you can junction magic to HP and vitality. Which is good. We don't want that. We want this. Now, where is it? Card. There's what we want. We want this. No, not Oh, okay. That's, that, that, sorry, that's use the card command. We don't want that. We want this one. And then for that one, we want ice magic refine. This basically allows us to, as it says here, refine water and ice magic from an item. So, Joe, okay. you've seen the exponent, like, people get mad at this game of, oh, you've got to draw magic from enemies, it takes fucking forever. It doesn't, because once you gain the ability to turn items into magic, you can make, like, a hundred of any spell you want in about ten seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one of the annoying things for me is, like, as someone who really likes the game, see, oh, you have to stand there for 20 minutes um, drawing magic from one enemy. It's like, no, you chose to do that. Yeah. You chose to stand there for 20 minutes. Like, there are easier ways to get magic that the game gives you almost straight away. So, Squall is just fucking ready. He is so strong. <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit. Because, uh, I remember, like, because um, back on the PS1 when you got this, it would give you, like, a full second of stop so you could recognise it. So, I'm uh, a bit okay. out of practice with it. Renzo Kuken! So, fuck you. And this is like one of the best moves in the game, because it hits anywhere between four and six times. And I get rough divides as well, because fuck it. Oh. Was that one you hit it perfect? Uh, yes. Yeah. So that thing's dead. That's so rough when you just open up everything on this little thing. Yeah. There we go, Renzo Kukun again. <laughs> so <laughs> so broken! Yeah, isn't it? And that's the thing. Now you know that, how easy does this actual, the ability to grind sound? Yeah, it sounds real easy. <laughs> when I have the ability to use my ultimate best attack from second one. As long as you are on low health. And even if you're not on low health, if you just mash Y to skip hard, you will eventually get it. You have like a just a low chance of getting it. So, can you not just do that with every character then? Every character can do it, but Squall's better to do it with because his attacker better. Right, yeah. Because he's hit six times. Zell's probably the better character to do it because he can do more damage overall, but Squall, start of the game. 
Mm. He's your main character, he's the one who's going to put all your time into. And it gets to a point where you don't need to draw magic at all because enemies naturally will drop stuff that you can use to turn into spells that you could draw off them anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Straight away, Lucas, turn one. <laughs> what an opening gambit this is. Just, ah! It's like, oh, Lucas, revenge. How dare you touch me? <laughs> oh, it's so good. There we go. Are you ready? There we go. Oh, I win. So, I win. So, let's go. Ability, you go to your abilities. Okay. Ice magic, refine. Fish fin. Let's give Squall 100 magic. 100 water spells. <laughs> Fuck it, Chris is going to have 40, why not? Uh, you, uh, I, or, yeah, I know how to use my Gunblade. I'm the Gunblade expert. <laughs> Boys often choke on this test when I come. I would. Oh my god. <laughs> Aha! Yeah, whatever! There's the first one. It's the first whatever. And what's the story you're talking about? It's not supposed to be whatever, is it? Um, it's a mistranslation of what he actually says in Japanese. You know what? Let me look it up properly while you uh, do this. Oh, okay, they're actually breaking down each one. Okay. So apparently the first one that we've just experienced, uh, Squall responds by thinking something like, I can't believe this teacher. In ah. English, that just became whatever. Check the monster's weaknesses. I know what his weakness is, but I don't want to fight it. There we go. It takes too much time. Yeah, there's another one where it's like, oh, not uh, nothing much or no big deal. Got turned into whatever. Yeah, there's a lot more nuance to it in the original Japanese. Um, uh, yeah. Translation. Yeah, another one which is like my bad just became whatever. That is, it was supposed to show him as being like sarcastic and aloof, but he just comes across as more cold than his. But Lucas. Uh, this fucking theme in. song though. Here we go. Uh, Fuck you, GF time. Oh, bring her in. I fucking love Shiva. What a fucking entrance. Yeah. <laughs> and I adore that they've never changed it. They've never changed what their special is. Oh, really? No, nope. it's always this. Oh! Are you ready for that breakdown now? They have frost like yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, Lucas, that fucking breakdown. Look at that! Oh! Oh, I trap him in a bubble. Just drown oh, him. Down. Drown this demon. <laughs> Eat a dick. Oh, just take the hit. Oh, I underestimated frost lass. Of course you did. He's <laughs> a super good Pokemon. He's got good. He's good. He's double team. So we beat him up. Five minutes done. Bulky. That's um, what I was thinking. Is like, yeah, like Entei's a legendary, but at the same time, Entei's like the dog, isn't he? Yes. Ah, oh, I died one hit. Oh, 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 oh god, that look. Oh it looked my like, god. It looked like it struggled so fucking much. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, little beetle. Ah, oh, little beetle. I love it. I love how stupid it looks. And we need to go find a save point because there's something we need to do, Lucas. Oh my god. There's something we've not what done. Do we yet. need to do. There's something we've we not done. We don't play Triple Triad. We've not played Triple Triad. And did you see what we got from beating Irifit? Uh, I almost have missed it. We got his card. And oh, his, and okay. his card is fucking broken. <laughs> and it means that you can win everything straight away. So I'm going to save the game, and we're going to save Scum the shit out of this, because if he beats us, they get to take one of your cards. <laughs> and he'll take Irifit, and then we lose. But if we can cheese it out beat him and get a couple of cards that'd be good so let's challenge this old man to some cards how do we go oh shit yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah he just beat us so we can show it off now you ready you lose lose your best card Fuck. <laughs> imagine that in real life so we quit and we're not letting him do that exit the game here we go he riff it there it is ah, and now okay. we can take one of his really good cards and we've got a slightly better chance of winning, so we can take like the Tombury. Yeah, get the Tombury, yeah. So now we add that to our deck. Can you just keep it, challenging him? You can keep challenging, yeah, to get all these good cards. And like you said, there is a thing where you can do where you end up getting the wrong rules, and there's a way to avoid that, which I'll show off when we get to it. You basically just refuse to let people play with their rules. Just think, no, oh, okay. we're playing by my rules or I'm not playing. <laughs> and if you do it long enough... I'm taking my ball back home with me. Literally that, yeah. It sure, it sure gets lonely about him. Look at that, so we made an old woman's day. Also, do you want to play cards? Oh no, no more hot dogs. She don't want to play cards. She's she's she's, she's, <laughs> you know she's all business, Lucas. All fucking business. Yeah. <gasps> oh, Lucas, are you ready? I am. I'm teamed up with Zeldinked. He's <laughs> he's lively. He's not lively. He's just loud. Can I please yeah. work with someone else? Oh, oh, here's, here's my mate. Just before you meet them, you do have to know they're a right character. He's like, oh no. No. Look at this for an introduction, though. <laughs> yeah. That is a fucking introduction. 
Yeah! And that immediately sold me on the character. I was like, a, a, you know, a small kid playing this game go, that guy's fucking cool. He's so fucking cool. He's got a face tattoo. He's got the fingerless gloves. He's doing backflips. It's like, this is my man. Also yeah. as well, he's our squad leader. Oh, it can't be changed. Why is he the... That's the thing. Why would you make him the squad leader? He's so obviously bad at what he does. <laughs> he's so shit. Oh, hello, Robin that, that Zell animation. I love it. it there's, there's so much character in these animations. Like The limitations of the, um, like the visuals add more mm. character to them. It's like sprites are always like um, way more charming. But isn't that yeah. a Robin Williams looking motherfucker right there? It really is. Also, yeah, I love that the um, the text box is covering his face. They are pretty like elite mercenaries though when they can summon giant demons from hell. I'd, <laughs> I'd be scared of that mercenary force. Like if I heard they were rocking up on the battlefield, I'd stop. Except there's a guy, I've heard him, he's got a gun that's got a knife on it, it's a shit. That sounds real fucking OP. Yeah. Bye. Let's talk to Sid. We've yet to see a gunblade specialist in Seed. That's why everyone knows me. So that's the explanation. Gunblades are reported like the hardest weapon to learn how to use. Mm. So that's why everyone knows who Squall is, because he's the only gunblade specialist in the entire school, except for Seifer. Hey, Christus, what's up? Let's get a move on. Also, you can't challenge him to cards. Because he's really good at cards. Like, he's super fucking good at cards. Oh, you, right, okay. You have to unlock him as an opponent. It's great. And this is why Zell's the best character in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Just practicing his catters. Let's go. A chicken wuss and a guy who reads puberty. Oh, fucking oh, see. No. He's such a douchebag. Like, oh, he's so Malfoy. Well, look, we're just, just sitting there like, yeah, what? Also, whatever. Lucas, yeah, how to drive. I go with other games that like, I get you a fucking airship. This one's like, take a little bus. You do get an airship later, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I had to drive that far, Luke, because it was that fun. Did you enjoy <laughs> that? Did you enjoy that trip? Ah, no, I can't. This is where you find like the queen of cards, and you can challenge her to a game of cards. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to do that now. Bye. It's <laughs> like, so, Lucas, we're on a life or death mission. Don't worry, I need to go play cards. <laughs> Squall needs his fucking fix. And there she is. There's the queen of cards. Oh, cool. And she's the one who can give you new rules. But I need to go find a save point because I don't want to get wrecked by the queen of cards. This is the hotel. Yes, nailed it. So I've just like, walked into someone's hotel room. Yeah. I like to point that out. <laughs> the classic. I've just walked into someone's hotel room. So let's go challenge the queen of cards, shall we? Here I mean, is. you wish I guess. to challenge me? Yes. And there's a very important thing you do here. Quit. We Wait, have what? what? You'll see. Because you see that trade rule one. That means if I win, I get one card. You keep quitting so you get the trade rule all. Oh. Because then if you win, you get all the cards. And because she's the queen of cards, she influences the entire region. Which means that every ta every other person I challenge in this region will give me all of their cards if I win. <laughs> so you just keep challenging her until you get trade rule all. Beat her once. And then you get every card. And this is like the question is, pro Carl, can you beat her? Uh, I hopefully I can. She doesn't have that great of cards. And there's a lot of things you don't you need to beat, you just need to draw. So as long as I can beat her to a draw, I'm fine. And it just means that it's so easy to get a shit ton of good cards because all you need to do is to challenge a low level player. Just stomp them <laughs> twenty times in a row. Because then you end up with like 40, 50 cards that are pretty decent. And once she you've really got a bunch doesn't of doesn't want to put it all on the line, does she though? She doesn't. Well, it's one of the rarest rules to get because it's the ah, best okay. one. It's the best one. It's also, as well, the most dangerous. Can you imagine if it was like an easy one to get and you lost all your cards on the first turn? Oh, God. There's a reason that like it's one of the later things. Like It's one of the ones you get right at the end of the game when you've presumably got a shit ton of cards. I'm not mm. messing with that, Luke. I want <clears> all my cards now. I want all my <laughs> eggs in one basket. Fuck you, trade rule one. You wish to challenge me. She's going to keep saying it. We're yeah. going to keep hearing the starts of his song. You wish to challenge It's up weird as well, because the first note's so long, so just... Then, like, direct, I think, is the worst one. You have to trade cards or something. There we go. That's Lucas. There we go. Yeah. And it's, this This is what you want. So, Irifit, Tomberry King. And you can see she's not got that great cards. Oh, yeah, okay. Like, she's not, like, that old fucking man who kicked my ass. I win, and I get... Lucas, 
<laughs> now do you see why I wanted to wait? Huh? So I... Fuck you, got mine. Yeah. Trading yeah. them all. There, that's because that means now every region I go to, it's like, oh, do you want to play with your cards? Oh, have you heard that how it works back in Balan? No. <laughs> if I win, I get all your cards. Well, that sounds. Wait, what? That sounds pretty bad, but okay, I guess we could do that. Boom! Play five legendaries. <laughs> Give me your entire deck. Already on the fucking back foot. Eh? Right, they don't call the queen of cards for nothing. Oh no, she did it. Well. They don't call the Queen of Cards for nothing. Oh well. But you can already see, Cartia, how easily you are able to min-max the shit out of playing cards. Oh yeah, totally. Because once you've got just a couple of um, GF cards, which you get by playing the game, you mm -hmm. can go to like Jolla Old Man, just annihilate <laughs> him with your legendary deck, and just get all of his good cards. And then when you get the ability to turn cards into um, uh, items later in the game, you get like end game items like an hour into the game. Is that classic RPG thing you have to talk to everybody before you get the next mission? Hmm. Oh, see, like, see, what does that help? Like, why did they put him in charge? Yeah. I don't get it. He's obviously got no respect for authority. Enough talk. I always thought they were planes as well, as another boat. Yeah. <laughs> It's the reflection of the ocean. There! So it's like, wait, there's no planes in this game. Ah, oh, <laughs> There it is. Literally just storming the fucking beach in Normandy. Basically, like, Lucas, style. day one. What's my mission? Storm Normandy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's clearly what this is meant to be. Like, oh, a postcard. Battle! Kill! Destroy! Like, oh, what a good shot is that? That's like a movie shot. Mm hmm Oh, that poor guy. Look at this Saving Private Ryan shit. Oh, this, this fucking song, though. This fucking song. Dun, 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 dun. How fast are we coming in? Lucas, the battle will begin the moment we arrive. <laughs> are you ready for this as well? Oh! Uh there we go. Oh, like straight into it. Straight in. We'll be back soon. All right, let's go kick some fucking ass. Oh, battle. It's the first one. Dun, 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 oh. dun. This soldier this, design. This, like, battle environment just etched into my brain. Yeah. So the only one thing to do with Tanat is Lucas. <laughs> let's teach him a lesson, shall we? <laughs> Oh, so Steve was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, attack, command him to attack himself. You can, oh, if you want to though, this is the only time in the game you ever get to see his limit break, so might as well. And if you look in, do you recognise this limit break at all? Um, yeah, but I think it's just because I've played the game and seen it. No, that's what he does to Squall at the start of the game. Uh... He casts fire, then he slashes at your face. So his limit break is the attack that he uses to blind Squall nearly. It's like, what a, what a dick. So during training, he goes, you know what? Fuck it, limit break. Yeah. So he uses, lim he uses limit break on me at the start. And that makes me think, what about if Squall uses limit break? Would Seifer have even stood a chance <laughs> if Renzo Kuken came out? Scout the area for enemies. What was one thing to do first? Oh, okay, yes! Can you play triple triad with it? You cannot play triple triad with it. <laughs> Just blue. challenge the dog. Yeah. So here's how you know Steve is a villain. Because he's mean to a dog. That's, that's, other, that's like the universal thing, isn't it? Yeah. If the person is mean to a dog, they are an irredeemable piece of shit. Yeah. You can never be redeemed after being mean to a dog in fiction. The place has always been a breed now for monsters. Oh, no. Oh, monster. How did we not see that monster? I don't the know. Thing. Look at what actually attacked him. How do we not see that sneaking up on us? <laughs> yeah. How has that ever snuck up on anything? Like a 19 foot snake. Man, this is a fucking beefy snake. This snake man is taking no shit. No. I don't want to see forget. Yeah, Zell, do it! I want to know. I need to ask you a question, Lucas. How do you work the body of a snake? Uh, you work everywhere. That's the thing, like, what part is the part that you're working? 
Well, I don't know. I've got the same info as you, Sifa. <laughs> I hate. Have you ever had that when you're watching a film? So, oh, what's going on? Like, I'm watching the same thing as you. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to repair the tower. Someone like, well, what do you think is going on? I, I don't know because, like, I don't know anything that's going on because you don't know what's going on. I have the same information as you. <laughs> I, I've killed so many giant snakes, Sifa. Where was your help when the giant snakes were here? I love battles, I fear nothing. What a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, I love this as well. You've got a dream. So Sifa's the one who's like, I have a big dream, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's too embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> what a, he's such a loser. I think he is. I feel like you probably could have been friends with him if he wasn't such a bell end. And that's him, he's out of the party now. Hey, the real heroes here. It's all right. We get to replace him with someone who's way fucking cooler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what an introduction! She's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> My fucking bad. So, Lucas, read out that line for us at home. One of these days, I'm going to tell you about my romantic dream. We're screaming the word romance. Bear in mind, yeah. we're trying to sneak in to find out what's going on. Whoa! Whoa. Off a fucking cliff. Do it. What a badass. Okay, what? On the elevator? Really? No chance. I want as many as I can get. Luke's be taking all his kills. Right, now I kill him. <laughs> Zell, finish him off now. Now he's lost the ability to heal his wounds. Oh! <laughs> just take his ability to heal and then punch him to death. He's just he... run away. Yeah, fuck oh, you! Oh, look at Woo! it! Ruin the cutscene! Woohoo! <laughs> I didn't know you could move. You, you could do it all the time, though. Just fuck oh. up the cutscene. This is another really impressive cutscene. Hmm, yeah. It's just, I love like the technology of this world. It's really cool. And then when I was a kid, I just assumed it was a giant fucking laser. Cause it looks so much like a giant laser. It really does. Especially when it fires the laser out the end of it. Spoilers. Yeah! I love that you can do that. I love that <laughs> you can do so it. It's so dumb. It's so dumb, but the fact you can do it is amazing. This thing looks so fucking dangerous. Look at that! How threatening does that look? That's what you see on Barrett's arm. <laughs> I'd love it if Barrett got that shit. Like the uh, the super weapons at the end of the game that you can yeah. unlock. So I want to know what satellite does this. Yeah. That's fucking <laughs> terrifying. Just wah, 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 wah. It's the fucking signal flare. <laughs> how do we beat C for up here? How did we beat him up here? We took the same elevator. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. I fucking love this theme song. It's so good. Fair play to Wedge for being all business. Mm. He's just right up on that. Oh, no. No pet. You should say that and Wedge should leave. Like, why would he fight? <laughs> Yeah! It's time. So you only need to get one of them down the middle now. Then you get this bullshit. You ready? I always forget about this. Elvarok. The real final boss. So, well, Elvarok, what you got? A monster that lives in the abandoned Dolly communication tower. No one knows where it came from. And he is a fly That does look cool, though. Like, the, the scan screen. Yeah. He has no effect. He has 2,000 health, or 3,000 mostly. He's a fly monster, and poison attacks have no dive, or no effect. Perfect. So now he's lowered all our health. He's actually made us stronger. Lucas, let's do this. It's time. Ugh, Zell. Fuck him up. <laughs> Booyah. Oh my god. It's That's so fast. Lucas, I'm not stopping. Now imagine if he was doing as much damage as Squall does. Yeah. Let's do it. Do over. Do over. What do we want? Let's hope we get something good. So this is a tactic that you can use while ultimate two two times done. While oh you summon a GF, you can like keep mashing to see to get a better spell. Whoa. So a tactic you do is you go on GF so uh, the active battle times that go down. 
<laughs> or, what on the old PlayStation 1, you could lift up the controller to the PS1. Or lift up the, um, what's it now? Uh, dish tray. So the game wouldn't continue, oh. but you could still keep doing do-over until you get Rapture. <laughs> so I just got basically two free ultimas. The best spell in the game. Oh! And I get to do it twice. Oh my god. And I get to do it twice because fuck you, self is here. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Do you know the best bit as well? He takes the elevator. What a dick move. What a fucking <laughs> dick move. Thing is, uh, we jumped off a cliff, just jump off the building, it's fine. So let's just run and escape this giant fucking spider because I'm so scared. I'm so scared of this spider. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. This is the one that you have to like fight and then run and then fight and then run, right? Yeah. And you can kill it. It's just very, very difficult. Perfect. Oh, nice. So she gets all health back straight away. Hopefully she casts it on herself. Oh, it affects oh! That is a great spell. That's a fucking That's so great good. spell. That's like an elixir for free. Oh, I hate it so I love that though. Yeah, it's so fucking terrifying. Just the screen shake and the doo doo doo. Ooh, I hate this thing. I hate this. It's so scary. <laughs> I made it. Oh, thank God. It all, it almost did this all... become fucking Resident Evil? You have to walk for this bit as well. You have to walk. Yeah, if you walk, you have to walk, which is really difficult because I'm doing it with a fucking joystick. And it's not sensitive, but if you walk for that bit, you don't get um, uh, stumbled and you can run away. Uh, okay. Uh, but I've never been able to like, figure out how to walk properly. Fuck you, what's We've it got? all been there. I think on. it's got protect. So I might as well get a few protects off it as well. Perfect. Right, as well, look at how hard this landing is for all of us. They all land perfectly stiff legged. <laughs> yeah. That's a rough fucking landing. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. The Dante. Oh. Absolutely fucking damage. That's how it's done. Just yeah. When you see Squall, like, don't worry, guys, I've got this. And he does a perfect <laughs> triple backflip over into the air. God, it's coming back. It's already back, look. Oh my god. It's already on the way. So save the dog, save the dog, save the dog, save the dog. Get out of here, get out of here. There we go. You get bonus points for doing that. You can also, um, if you kill it before it destroys this car, you get points for that. Oh really? And you can hide in the pub as well if you want. But, <laughs> I don't want to hide in the pub, because if you hide in the pub, you don't get this cutscene coming up. No! Oh no, whatever will we do? Oh, don't worry. Education is here. And you can skip that cutscene if you like hide inside the pub. No, dramatic jump. Oh, get <laughs> Like, why would we want to miss this cutscene? <laughs> fucking twist is on the fucking minigun. Eat my fucking ass. You're free to go. You can buy some souvenirs. Have a review meetings, let's see it. So now we've got a bit of freedom before we have to go back to the school. So I say, mm. oh, look at that. What did he took the car? <laughs> what a fucking bell end. Well, might as well walk it. Let's yeah, I mean, out. it is only down the road. Yeah. Play cards. Yeah, I'm going to play cards with his girlfriend. <laughs> there we go. Just ignore him. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yeah. So now I get all the cards. Oh, oh. oh Lucas, how satisfying <laughs> is this? You ready? Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, it's so fucking good. You know what? Let's play again. I was going to say, can we play her again? We can. Oh. Lucas, are you ready? Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 that's so fucking sad. And Lucas, building a fucking death. I think I know we need to go battle now. Are we going to go battle the old I man? I think to end this play session, Lucas, that old man needs to fucking learn. <laughs> we need to fucking show him what for. I can't. Oh, it's, well, Lucas, oh, I guess I better talk to him to get Yeah, I guess so. So how does it feel on the battlefield? Luke, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. That's gr that's a great, what, whatever. Yeah, it's like, a safe spot all you can see, You can see it, it's right there. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's right there. It's right there, but I have to run all the way. I guess I go back it's to our room. It's just within our grasp. Oh, Luke, it's time. It's time for the old it man. It is. It's time for this old man to sort of fucking learn. Just for the insult. Because his only option is that, and then I just come in at the end and go, oh, I'll just place it down right at the end. play the effort, like, yeah. Oh, Lucas. Played like a fucking fiddle. <laughs> I like I had him. His pants were all the way around the ankles, and he just got the landing lights guiding me in. So dinked. Yeah, Zell made it look. Do you want to see the best walk animation in the game? You ready? 
<laughs> Isn't that like the best walk animation? Do 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 like eat my ass. Oh god, that's so good. Oh, are you ready? Damn. So we didn't have a chance to talk to um, uh, Fujin, who all she says is just rage. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to the garden festival. <laughs> Here you go, son. This is my favourite one. You do your best. Well, do you know what? Lesson for life, right there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> do your best, even if you don't stand out. Oh, I'm good for that guy. It's fair. He gets it. Try, try. No. His his power <laughs> is directly related to his fucking emotions. Gun blades. See, so he's super hype. And like the in the world, like a gun blade is the hardest, most difficult weapon to use. What they did talk, he say to you then? Finally, a gun blade specialist. Like, so there's never been one at this school ever. Like, oh, okay. The first one to ever like make it to this rank, which is why they were like so hyped to get either me or Sifa on board because it's like the most legendary, terrifying. Oh, so go for it. <laughs> so let's talk to our let's talk to our headmaster. Let me give you this. It's a battle meter. Look at look at these walk animation. Look at Zell. I'll be honest, I've walked like that a couple of times, and I'm, Joe, I'm feeling like all um, um, high and mighty. Like, yeah, eat my ass. <laughs> oh. Look at that. Not so much of a twat after all, is it? Now, from what I've seen of him so far, I don't think there's any chance in hell he would have clapped for us. No. So this is the C's uniform. Let's talk to her. Is that not what she was wearing earlier? No, oh, no, she had, like, like the, the short skirt black. on, didn't she? Yeah. It's black, so you know what that means? That means she's more um, experienced. She's a veteran. <laughs> so fuck it. Yeah. Let's get changed. So, Lucas, we're ready to swag it out. And you can even see it on his wall, look. You can even see it, look. You can see his jacket there. Let's get changed. Get changed. Why not? Let's swag it out. This is really cool for a, like, a PlayStation 1 game to have multiple outfits. Not to mention, as well, you can actually see it on the wall. Yeah. You can see, you can see his old jacket there, and you can see my school uniform. Mm -hmm. It's just a, like, you know, it's a fucking pre-rendered background. The fact it's there is great. Uh, it makes all the difference. Oh, it's that scene, isn't it? This is the scene, yeah. You're the best looking guy here. Zoom right in onto this awful <laughs> mass of pixels. But now it's like, you know, it does look pretty good. It does, yeah. He's so busy. He is now it? actually the best looking guy here. He's the only guy in HD. The back... Well, the thing is, though, when you walk up to a guy at a party... And the background's not in HD, but he is. That's how you know he's a good guy. <laughs> That's how you know he's a protagonist. Oh, and then you can, can you hear Selfie in the background. Look, she's just talking to people about the uh, garden festival. And everyone's <laughs> like, no, sorry, gotta go. Bye. So we are going to say yes, because the garden festival is like a great um, uh, side mission. The squall's like, huh, me? I appreciate that. That is the plainest looking dress, though. <laughs> yeah. It's classy, though, isn't it? It just looks like she's wearing nothing. It looks like she's wearing a negligee. That's what it looks like. It does, yeah. So you're the best looking. There's the meme, everybody. If I remember <laughs> yeah. in the edit, I'll put it on screen so everyone knows what we're talking about. For anyone, this is the first time seeing the game. So, Ulrich, why don't you show us all a dance of your country? Show us a dance of Gelderland. <laughs> And it mm. kind of takes me out of what was otherwise a good historical movie about jousting. The director oh. went, well, orchestras didn't exist in the century that the film was set either, so there shouldn't have been a soundtrack. Because <laughs> it was like, oh, it would have been better with an or um, or orchestral soundtrack. Guy went, orchestras didn't exist. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you dick! Like, like I say, if she, they'd have put a gun blade in his hand. <laughs> and told him, they're just like, mate, do your cutters. He'd have been on it. It's you like um, one of my favourite episodes of Samurai Jack is the episode where he goes to the rave. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Samurai Jack, like, they tell you to dance and he just starts doing martial arts combos and everyone's like, yeah, Samurai Jack! <laughs> and they start doing it with him. Like in a, a goofy movie where he does the perfect cast on stage with Powerline, and Powerline's like, Yeah, that's a fucking dance and half that. Yeah, 
she's now about to point out, um, technically, I'm no longer your student. Oh, well, technically, oh, yeah. The moment. That's the creepiest move ever. Yeah. To be fair, she's 18. Yeah, I don't she, care. There, uh, you know what? There's an inherent power imbalance there. But it's yeah. also a world where I'm a fucking soldier. If I'm old enough to murder people on behalf of the school mom to fuck my teacher, I'm going to tell <laughs> everyone they're violating curfew. And she's like, no, I just want to hang out with you, you fucking idiot. You're a moron. That's the thing is because he's the strong silent type, but also the awkward goofy guy. All which is why, one. which is why I love him so much because he's trying to be cool and he mm-hmm. fails at it so hard. And, and everybody does. who encounters him sees through it straight away. Fight. They look terrifying. They're with awful. Those, aren't they? like, this one's got to suffer. It's got to punish it. No, 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 <laughs> no, no! I hate it. Ah, oh, Luke's help. Oh, we missed. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. If they're going to start doing status effects shit, no. And I love it, like, Lucas, how suspicious is this? Oh, I want to take you to the secret area. We walk in, and there's two couples, like, basically fucking on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So, why did you want to invite me here? Uh, no reason. No reason. Oh, no, look. She failed as an instructor. She likes leadership. Good. She's a fucking teacher. How can you like leadership as a teacher? Well, that's why she's not a teacher anymore, Carl. It's just... But she liked leadership. The thing is, do you think someone that we... Remember, bear in mind, the last time we saw her, um, she was on a minigun firing at a robot spider. That's a person who inspires leadership and confidence <laughs> right there. Like, if I saw my teacher do that, I'd be like, I will listen to what they have to say. That's true. So she's 18 years old. There it is. Like, she might as well have a sign on her chest that just says legal. <laughs> and just, like, underlined massively. Are you done? Oh, fuck you. That they really have gone out of the way to point out that A, she's legal, B, she's no longer an instructor. And C, she is and fucking up for it. She's got yeah, the landing lights. C, she's just like, oh god, going for it. Squall car, you could not give less of a fuck. Like, they've just laid down everything they can to be like, look guys, this relationship is okay. And it's like, he has got a point as well. It's like, this is not my fucking problem. We do not have this relationship. I've known you for all of, like, a couple of days. I think, like, um, in the story, we've known her longer because she's been our instructor. But we, in the game, we've known her for, like, what, two hours? Yeah. Squall has <laughs> been taught by her for at least a year because she's been an instructor for a year. But, like, I am 100% on, like, Squall's side. And this one's like, this isn't my problem. This is your problem. This is not the relationship we have. Stop fucking talking to me about it. Oh, yeah, ah. this thing. But you remember her? I don't remember the woman. I remember the monster. Well, she's from the start of the game. She's the one who was looking through the window. Because I think a lot um, of people, when they yeah. played the game, because I did, I get confused and think, oh, Rinoa is the girl looking through the window. Mm. Because she has, like, long brown hair. And she's wearing a white dress. It's like, no, that's her. Also, fun fact, Luke, when I uploaded uh, the first couple episodes of this, I turned up this song. Because it's my favourite song in the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, it got immediately copyright struck, so I had to re-upload all the episodes with it lowered oh, down. Oh, God. Dude. So we have to keep talking, Lucas, because otherwise we'll get uh, copyright struck. Talk oh, loud, God, talk no, loud, no, no. talk. <laughs> it's so annoying, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck it. It really is. Here we go. I, Renzo... I highly doubt that it's the actual artist that's claiming It's not, that. now. It was like um, something publishing group, and I googled it, and they've got nothing to do with Square Enix. Oh, right, yeah, of course. So just some fucking company must have put an album out, and it's like, no, that's our song now. Come on. I don't want to get it, am I? I'm mashing Y as hard as I can. Oh, it's dead. It <laughs> doesn't matter anyway, Carl. It's already dead. Got it. So she's secretly just the most important character in the game. Yeah, and you don't find out until, like, disc three. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that? And Quistis knows her because she um, she calls Quistis by a nickname. So we now have, I think, the ability to life magic, which means we can do this. Oh, Squall. Um, five Kirajas. So do you want to see something stupid now, Lucas? Are you ready? Um, HP. Whoa! Lucas, you're not ready. You're not ready for this. Are you ready? There we go. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He doesn't like the thing is he doesn't fucking matter. Mm-hmm. So let's just go now attack a random enemy, shall we? See how much damage Squall does. And that's what I was waiting for to go fight a T Rex or. So let's go save the game, beat the shit out of T Rex or, shall we? Because <laughs> T Rex or now does not have a chance. Here we go. Oh, here we go. So it can do a lot of damage. So the first thing we need to do is fucking get it on its ass. Come on, just need to get the blind. 
Yes! Oh, there easy. we go. Right, we win. What? <laughs> Just, what <laughs> does that look like? Dodging a T-Rex. You thought we were done here. No. Oh! Just for the insult, the double. Oh, another Renzo. Oh, look at that. Would you believe it? Another Renzo Cooper. <laughs> like, this is the How most How many times can you break your own limits, Carl? That's the thing. This is the most broken shit in the game. They <laughs> did not expect people to be able to do this. They had no idea that this would be an option that people could do. So I just killed Dinosaur on my bare hands. What you got to say about that? It's not like... Lucas, after what we just did, look at what she's just said. <laughs> Squall, it's not like everyone can get by. I just killed a fucking T-Rex. To be fair, I think she's more referring to herself than, a, than <laughs> Squall there. Like, I killed a T-Rex by fucking annihilating its ankles while it was blind and begging for help as you just doused it with water to keep it awake during the punishment. So here we go, look. Zell's been waiting for the entire time. Just to tell us. Still in his, like, fucking school gear. Yeah. I know he's, he's in a seed gear, though. Yeah, yeah, he's been at the party, hasn't he? So he remembers a seed, so we get our own room. So we even get a new room. Oh, I, I think that's fair enough. Don't slum it in, like, the, the school yeah. kid's door. I also feel gutted for Zell. Like, he's been wait looking for us the entire time to tell us that. He's been waiting there for hours while we grinded in the train of um, sleep. Cuban as what we said, it's after midnight. Yeah. And that was before we decided to spend 20 minutes fighting a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, that was before the boss battle and before the dinosaur battle. Oh, man. It would be even worse if we went and played cards with a guy on front desk one <laughs> for another couple <laughs> hours. And then I do this. And I'm like, oh, give me all your cards, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lucas. How good do you think this feels to the dickhead who's been telling you not to go out after dark? <laughs> like going up to the security guard on the front desk, like, ah, thanks for the cards, mate. Bye. Oh, you read it. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at this dumb bullshit airblade, motherfucker. Woohoo! Like, how cool would it have been to see Zell doing his combos on that thing? Imagine if that became his limit break. Like, he's just partying on a fucking airboard. It's so good. Just grind it. Do, like, 50-50 railing it. <laughs> We've agreed to do this mission for very little money, so we're only sending the three of you. We're just sending out the noobs that don't cost much. Basically, yeah. We're sending the, the three people who got promoted yesterday. <laughs> You've been seeds for one day. Go do the worst mission we've got available. They're in charge of me. And here is the best thing in the game. If you don't talk to him, you don't get this. It is a cursed item, but if one with enough power uses it, it should be a great help. So we desperately, desperately need what he's just given us there. We can talk to this dude. Okay, well. what is that? You ready to fight a demon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like I guess. The lamp. It even tells you to save the game before you rub this lamp. Do you know why? Because look what's inside. Oh. So did you know about this, Lucas? No. Oh shit, I got I full no health. Clue. I got full health, so I saved the game. So let's just fuck him up. Uh, punch this fucking demon. Lucas, it's time. It's time for Zell to earn his paycheck. <laughs> it's his first day. It's his first day. Fucking punch this demon. <laughs> Here. She got to get it. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> so now we get him. So we now get like, you don't get any XP, but you get his card and you get 20 AP, tool refinement. And so Lucas, what the fucking Pokemon is this? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Got Gengar. And you God, can, he's already and you, level nine. And you can tell as well that we're not supposed to have him because there's a space here. You're not yeah. supposed to be strong enough to have him yet, but if you use my tactic, you get it in Lucas' look. Let's refine time and space magic, oh, shall God, we? Oh, God, that sounds terrifying. Because that gives you gravity. Took it. Fuck it, I'm going to dump it. <laughs> Take this fish. I can't. This thing is just getting annihilated. I don't want it. The thing is, I'm done. I think, I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, oh. <laughs> just... Carl, it was dead eight moves ago. Fuck you. He needs to die. He needs to learn. Keep him on low health. It doesn't matter if they're on low health anyway, because we want the limit breaks to end the fight faster. Plus, it's funny when just Zell sees a fish on the floor. He's like, ah! <laughs> it's time! It's time to unleash my 10 hit Tekken combo. Oh, here we go. Oh. That looks so fucking scary. Yeah. Boom. Oh, then Zell, oh, you, why did you come out of the ground? Oh, no. You fool, it comes out of the ground thinking, what the fuck was that? And Zell just said, <laughs> now is my time. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> How do you critical hit a fish? I want no. to know, Lucas, where is the critical hit point on a fucking fish? Right in the gills. Probably. There we go. So now we get time magic. You know it is. We've been playing for three hours now, the ability to get time magic. So Zell's telling that his mum's going. Look at that. 
It's an outdoor class. He's lying to his mum. Don't lie to your mum, Zell. Anyway, let's go kick her out of cards. Yes, I've improved my game. Give me your fucking cards. I'm going to take them all. What does Zell think when he sees this? Just taking his mum's fucking deck. So, oh, yeah, my mum's been building that since my dad. Oh, no! Take them all. <laughs> oh, no. oh, dad loves. I like that she still says the words like, have you improved your game yet? After you've just beaten her. It's like, have you got any decent cards yet? Oh, yes, let's take it! Yeah, we, we, there we go. And that's the problem, though, because now she has that. You want her to go first. Then I can do this. Yeah, Give me! Go. Give me that fucking card! Oh. Oh. How's oh. it feel, Mum? How's it feel? Bye. Don't even acknowledge it, Lee. <laughs> you should just walk back up to her and be like, have you improved your game yet? <laughs> Which member of our, ca um, our team should we scan? Who do you want to know more uh, about? I want to know more about Zell. You want to know more about Zell? We've, just, let, we've just got his card I want to learn about. And we did just save the game, didn't we? Yeah. So that's okay. So let's read more about Zell to end the game, shall we? Loves the hot dog, solve the garden cafeteria. <laughs> Uses close combat fighting skills to defeat enemies with put fucking two right, he does. He does. And what else are you doing? You can do backflips. Whoa! <laughs> Look at these skills. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh god, no. Oh my god, look how. St oh, oh, fucking. We are oh Kaiju god. movie now. Ah, giant squad. Throwing yeah. that one away there. I know, look at that as well, Lucas. Please, I've got to buy my own train ticket. Think about that for a moment. Our mission is to go and, like, like help these guys, and they're making us buy our own fucking train ticket. That's true, but at the same time, Carl, you know, you do get paid a salary every five minutes. And this might be one of my favourite, um, just little character things in this game, and it is. Selfie, fucking love trains. <laughs> she is obsessed with train. But we need to know, Selfie, how are you loving this train? <laughs> <laughs> Just, I love trains. I love them. Train, train. Oh, she's singing oh. a song. <laughs> train, train, take us away. She loves it. She fucking loves train. I told you, Lucas. She really Look does. at this swag ass shit. Oh, yeah. man, yeah. And, like, they're, they're so crazy out of the, like, the, the Hello magazine headlines. Yeah. They are. If I thought I met my dream man until Billy cut my leg off and sold it on eBay. You're like, what? <laughs> so, Lucas, do we care or... You know what? We don't know too much about it. Yeah, you can tell they're the bad guys because they've literally got bad in the title. Yeah. Also, Timber fell quite easily. Hmm. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And Lucas is like, yeah. He's just, Squall just does not give a fuck. That's all Zell knows. <sighs> is that right? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Know It All Zell. Well, he knows more than me, to oh, be fair. He takes it just so fucking seriously, doesn't he? That's the thing. Like, yeah, well, no problem. Zell, Zell never, ever lets you get him down. No. No matter how much you shit on him or how much you tell him you don't like him, he knows deep down Squall secretly just really wants a friend. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, oh no. no. We've been drugged. <gasps> oh, what is this? Oh. It's called a bad first day score. Yeah! <laughs> it's Laguna. Laguna Loire. Let's fucking go. I forgot Speaking about of, this a little bit. These sections are awesome. Dun, 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 dun. So, Lucas' best battle theme in Final Fantasy. Can you hear it? Uh, no, let me turn Can we turn it up a little bit for you? I'll turn it up for you, Lucas. This is the best battle theme in Final Fantasy. Folks at home, you should have like just the same volume regardless. I'm going to turn this up for me and Lucas. Is it coming through yet? Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Do you want to know what this is called, Lucas? Go on. The man with the machine gun. Because it's <laughs> Laguna's theme song. Well, that's the thing. So let's show... You don't often get a chance to see these guys' as um, uh, limit breaks. So let's just show them off, shall we? Oh, okay. Lucas, are you ready? It's time for blood pain. Ugh, let's go, Kiros. Oh! Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, 360! There we go. Lucas, are you time? Are you ready? Squall's dad's gonna show us how he got those fucking legendary status. Oh, fuck you, grenade! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> oh, get wrecked! What a fucking hero! Oh my god, that's amazing. I've never Isn't seen it? that. That's, not many people will have because these sections are so short and they're so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in the middle of a war. And the Laguna's like, no, fuck it. We're gonna, we're gonna leave. Go get drunk and go ogle a piano lady. And I love this detail. You already look. We block traffic. Very relevant <laughs> to what's happening in the world right now. 
Oh, like, yeah. You see that giant ship that drew a penis and then accidentally blocked like 10% of world trade? Yep. It's great. Squall's mum right there, baby. But it's, everyone knows. Everyone's like, hey, Lagoon, you come here, like, just skis on that chick. And he's like, no. Anyway, let's go skis on that chick. And you can see as well, you've got the blacked out options, which are Squall. Oh, uh, okay. That Squall. Oh, that selfie's like Lagoon's pretty cute. Which, to be fair, he is. Look how big she is. <laughs> Not to mention Kiros as well, those fucking sick ass dreads. And this is probably going to get his copyright struck because he's like a super famous song. He's like the theme of the game. Ah, uh, right, okay, yeah. And now my, my lads are here, like they're doing the uh, the Winter Soldier of just like, go, go talk to her, go talk to her. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Squall shit talking him. Oh. There it is, look. Oh, he gets a physical injury because oh, he's got no. his... Oh. He might as well have the blood shooting out of his nose. <laughs> oh, so many people are watching Laguna just, like, fucking fail right now. And she just doesn't even look over. Oh. She's not even acknowledged him now. Are you ready for it? Let's go t Let's go see what Mr. Bodyguard's got to say. You got a little too close to you. So have you ever met a person like this? Oh, yeah, 100%. Like the overprotective friend, and I'm saying friend in like quotation marks here, mm -hmm. where you're like, you know, you try and talk to like a girl, and he's like, whoa, 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 like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm talking to a friend, fuck you. Or like, I've genuinely had it before where I've, you know, tried to go and talk to a girl, um, and one of their friends has come over and been like, whoa, 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 like she doesn't want to talk to you. It's like, who are you? Oh man, a minus three on the manliness scale. Yeah, but did you see that Desperado attack I did? That puts me right up there. <laughs> That's like plus 96. You right should have just like walked up with your phone and been like, look what he did earlier. <laughs> ah! Oh, he's still got what a crap. move of just turning around and just screaming in her face. You know what? If you're a hot girl, you, you're used to that. It's pretty hard to talk. Yeah, it was that weird dude over in the corner who says he's your bodyguard. <laughs> Also, Laguna and, uh, oh, sorry, Kiros and Ward, like, yeah, we're taking off. They're stood staring directly at us. Yeah, that's what's so funny is that just everybody in the world is stood there staring There's at the, this conversation. It's almost a comedy shot, and I feel like in something like you know, FF7 Remaster, mm. if that this game would have got that treatment, that would have been like a huge comedy zoom out. Yeah. Oh. Do, Lucas, do we have the balls? Do it. Gotta go see it. Lucas, do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, so he, he was gonna chicken out, but the receptionist is a bro, and he's like, "Mate, you go get that. <laughs> you go tap that." We're gonna play four. Have a seat. I love this as well because I'm not controlling this. And then he, he sits on the bed, and then we're like, "Oh no, wait!" And then he goes and sits at the other <laughs> end of the room. I love that detail. Like you can't decide where to sit. And now Lagoon's had a glass of wine and doing that typical man thing of just never shutting the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the glass of wine down. He's like, yeah, I love fighting in war. Oh, it's awesome. Man. It's a travel. Kira some wood. I love them. They're my bros. Hey, we should all go out drinking sometime. Look at him. He's doing it. Can we meet again? Fucking yeah. That's come here to sing. And that's just like a recurring storyline. And this is where they realise. I had such a nice dream. I was a big buff man. Hey, man. No hate. She might have enjoyed being a big buff man. <laughs> <laughs> I dreamt I wasn't more. <laughs> That's your fucking dad. Oh. There's one choke about. <laughs> we said the wrong password. So he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do? He's like, oh, no. Run away. Oh, the pet shop owner's on vacation and his cat's inside. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, his dog. Can you hear it? Oh, that's so brutal. I want to play. He wants to play with his dog and the shop shut. So I may have um, accidentally fucked up the cards. Yeah, that's, that's what he just says it. They didn't have the right password. It's like, we're paying them a fortune. I don't care. And then, Joe, you know what? Here's a character establishing moment right here. No fucking respect. <laughs> to be fair though, Carl, after the year we've had, I'm not sure I'm going to be shaking people's hands anymore. Yeah, but then look at Zell in the background. Yeah. No one shakes Zell's <laughs> hand. Oh, I fucking love these. And then he's like... 
get some anger out. <laughs> Never wake up a sleepy woman, got it. So Lucas, as a, a man with a girlfriend, like, would you give the advice of don't wake your girlfriend up when she's napping? Uh, yeah. Yeah, but the squall's like, oh, so you didn't see a hotter guy. You just saw Robin Williams and wanted to ask him, please send special <laughs> forces to help me. And there's a detail that you can see in this version of the game. She doesn't really show up on the PS, PS1 version. Uh, look at the back of her dress. She has an angel wing motif. Ah, uh, okay. And like angel wings, and you know the feather right at the start of the game? Mm. When like Squall Saw turns into feathers and that is all that stuff. That's because it's reference to read now, but that kind of gets lost in the PS1 version because you can't see that detail of her outfit. It's fine, Carl, because through Discord, I can essentially experience <laughs> the PS1 version of the game. The, the PS1 experience. <laughs> it's like, you might be, oh, I see him! Oh. And Lucas, you know what we're calling this dog. What are we calling this dog? Cade. Oh, okay, yeah. Why are we not, what, what else would I, we call it? I just it? Didn't, I didn't know what you had in mind. Lucas, what are we calling this adorable dog? Good old Cade. So how do you spell it? It's uh, C-A-Y-D-E-S. C-A-Y-D-E, yeah. Do you want to explain why your dog's called Cade? If Lucas has a dog called Cade, I'll put a picture of it up on screen now if I remember. We actually named our dog Cade after Cade 6 from Destiny. Oh, that makes me feel what? like she's a, she's a huge fucking bitch. Is she, yeah, is she an absolute asshole to everybody else that isn't I am Squall? Oh, this theme song. He just sounds like planning is happening. Mm. Uh, this is the, it's just the song of planning. Top secret impro from Galvadia. What are they doing? Oh, VIP. Super VIP. They need to invent like a next level of VIP. Super VIP. Do you like the, the Nintendo Entertainment System? What do we call it? The Super. <laughs> we need that. So Vinza Dealing, our arch enemy, and the president of Galbadia. He's taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Okay. And here's Selfie with a much better idea. You ready? Blow it with a <laughs> rocket launcher. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We might be terrorists, but we're not that good. We, we, we're not that hardcore. I'm going to just mash as quickly through this as I can. Right, the mission is we're going to... We have a private carriage on the end. That's a replica of the presidential carriage. Mm. We're going to swap it for that one and then just, like, interrogate the president. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Kidnap the president. Piece of piss. Bish bosh. Job done. Did you get it, Lucas? Very complicated stuff here. Clearly, yeah. This is the one bit we need to listen to. The, the president's car looks kind of shit. And I was like, yeah, I made it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Renoa made it. <laughs> I thought a kid made it. The pay job sucks. <laughs> and everyone, and Squall's like, yeah, this thing sucks. <laughs> no, Lucas, she oh. did it bad on purpose. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever met someone who does that? I did it shit on purpose. It's like, you didn't. Just admit you're not very good at painting. Yeah. And even Zell's seeing through it. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it's one of the ugliest oh things my I've God. ever seen in my life. Selfie, fucking going in. Selfie is just going ham. Do, do never click this option. <laughs> but like, selfie, man, she's like, oh, butter wouldn't melt, sweetness and light. But the moment she sees a shoddy paint job, she's fucking in. Yeah. She's like someone on a Warhammer forum. <laughs> just need to play a quick game of cards to uh, settle my nerves. Yes! Oh, oh, yeah. It's the Cade card. We're taking the card. Oh, we're getting this. Oh, we're it. Maybe they'll try to do something, but yeah, we got the uh, Angelo card. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is why we special forces, baby. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. This really isn't the type of music I expected to be playing at fucking train heights. How am I going to propose Oh, now? no. Like, what a great little de- Like, you didn't need to have that soldier saying that. You didn't, but it's fine, Carl, because we'll probably murder them soon. Two. Oh, fuck, they got me. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. What happened? So if you say I failed, it's all over. It puts you back to your last save point. If you put ah, it's nothing, get to do it again. Oh, okay, cool. And that's the thing of like, if you admit that you fucked up, you've got to start the entire thing again. <laughs> Why would you ever select that option? <laughs> so keep an eye out to oh, the man. right, I believe. You'll see a chocobo. It's the only chocobo in the entire game. You ready? Oh, there we are, to the left side. You see him. Yeah. The chocobo. It's the only time they appear in the entire game. Man. Which means Can there are chocobos in this world. It's just the we... fucking, like, the level of graphics for a fucking PS1 game. Yeah. That's why it's point out the chocobos. Because they are in this game, it's just you don't see them because you don't need them. Yeah. Which is a shame because the... every game should have chocobos. 
I love this. Oh, oh there goes another no. play check. Oh no. Oh. Like, is this the right train? The interior looks shabbier. Oh. No ring and no candlelight dinner. I'm never going to be able to get married. Oh. The, the thing is, though, I think this should have been Pigs and Wedge. I mean, it did look like them, but it isn't them. Yeah, it, that should be Pigs yeah. and Wedge. Hi. Oh, it looks so good. It, does, it baffles me. This is like a PS1 yeah. game. It's a PS1 game. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit blurry, but fucking hell, it's a, like, folks, this is a PS1 game. Like, this is on a CD. This is a fucking CD we're looking at. And yeah, at right like, now. obviously, we know this is like a remaster ish. It's not a remaster. It's, it's the most basic of remasters. So, leave the intelligence up to me, sir, and then guess who's gonna have a stomachache? Oh! Oh, no, my penis. What a fucking pussy. <laughs> and here's the thing I appreciate about this game. Well, whenever you have shit like that, they always give you an opportunity to just junction all your thing. Oh, man. If this, was, if this was a modern game, you'd be calling a female. Oh, no. No. So he's a uh, body double, and I love the moment he reveals that. He's now fake President D-Link. Oh, uh, right, yeah. How dare you in... <gasps> Lucas, how dare we insult the President? Oh, that fucking theme song, though. It's kicking in. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> So let's fight the president. Fuck you, president. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh he's doing God. it. He's raving. Lucas, he's he raving. Look he's at that. Melting. Have you ever seen a president break it down that hard? <laughs> oh, look at this shit. This thing's terrifying. I hated this thing as a kid. Mm. Uh, and as well, yes, well, right. The fuck is that? We need magic because Lucas, this is. A zombie monster. And do you know what the trick is? Do you remember the trick with Final Fantasy oh, games? Oh, of course you can cure them. Yeah. And I've got Kuraga. Oh, oh, get fucking wrecked. <laughs> He's dead. We win. <laughs> How easy was that? <laughs> Just, what? I, I adore that mechanic in um, RPGs. Yeah, yeah. Of monsters that are dead or un oh, sorry, undead. Healing magic hurts them. And stuff like um, full life is just insta kill. It's great. <laughs> and because cure magic can't miss, it always hits for damage. But I do kind of wish that the other guys um, uh, were Biggs and Wedge, and that throughout the game they just kept getting demoted. Because <laughs> I like that idea as like a just a side thing that happens throughout the game. Like Biggs and Wedge are constantly getting demoted because <laughs> of you. Oh look, it's a monster attacking him again. Oh. Look, oh. <laughs> like, look, 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 like. We should check out our contracts. Like, selfie, man. So fucking just on point. Yeah, just like that. Can I see your contract? I adore this animation here. You ready? Oh, just how lazy she produces <laughs> the contract. Just her. So, Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges that the Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B, is the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. And, yeah, that's a fucking business contract, so yeah. right. I've had to sign many of them in my mm -hmm. time. Now, you had to sign one to do work for me, didn't you? To make, so you've got to make things illegal above board. Exactly, yeah. And Sid being a... Oh, she does it again! I fucking love it. And then it's the snatch. It's like you can smell the sarcasm dripping off of her you can, when she yeah. says that. You don't need any audio to know how she said that of just casually just putting the contract in front of you and just... Sid is such a nice man. A squall snatches it out of her hand. <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. Yeah, that is a vague-ass contract, yeah. isn't it? I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand this contract is an exception and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Ballon Garden Headmaster, Sid Kramer. Yeah, and self is straight on it. Like, that is so vague. <laughs> we're not being paid at all. Actually, we are being paid. We are being not paid, all. but at the same time, it's like we're being um, shipped out because we are just the cheapest fucking members of seed. I'll go question every teenager <laughs> in the area. It's like, no, no. We can't. Look at that. 
Like, these are citizens that have got rights. How dare they kidnap the prince? Oh, no! I'm gonna go put him in jail. It's like, no, stop doing Nothing, this! Please. Oh, I, how fucking hard is it to chase down a train? <laughs> that is a rough fucking day right there. And I, there's, there's an important thing we need to check. Yeah, he did it, look! He got his dog back. Look! Yeah. He's got his dog back. How are you doing, kid? Look at him! He's so cute. So let's read Pet Pals. We've got volume one there as well. Oh, look at that fucking <laughs> dog. That is a crusty ass JPEG right there. So, research shows the relationship between the moon and your dog. Why, who the fuck wrote this? <laughs> Do you know how your dog can use the power of the moon to help you? Invincible moon. The moon's mysterious powers will make all of your allies invincible. So, Cade can come into battle and make us invincible, Lucas. That's so good. Then we've got Pet Pals for... Look at that dog. <laughs> that one's great. Uh, have you ever been KO'd by a monster? Even reviving doesn't help because you get KO'd right back. To answer your desperate call for help, use Cade Reverse. He fires a phoenix oh, down. Oh, well, that's good. It, so he brings it in. And we've got the other one here, Pet Pal Volume 1. We bring you the latest pet news to dog lovers. Your dog can learn a trick to damage enemies in this issue. Comes to your rescue when you're in grave danger. It's called Cade Strike. <laughs> so we need to do that right now. Oh, she sneezed on us. Oh, no. I'm allergic to cats, but my daughter loves them. What am I supposed to do? And there you go. Can you see it? Look at her. She's just <laughs> surrounded by cats. It's so cute. Some really mean looking guy was looking for you. Are you good or bad? No, we're good. I think we're the good guys. Lucas, are you ready? Yeah. The cave yeah, cannon. this is it. The cave cannon. Oh. Is that not the best thing you've ever seen? Oh, that's so fucking good. No, we're waiting. Oh, perfect. All you're doing is making Kate angrier. Oh, oh, he comes in just on his own, look! How dare you fucking touch my master! Do it. How dare you? Do it. Just fire the doggo. <laughs> just... Oh. <laughs> just, just, just drop in, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when that's an option you have? <laughs> I'm not trying to go in. Can I charge her with cards? Oh, she does. So let's save the game and I'm like, oh, God! <laughs> I know! <laughs> I'm trying to it. save the game. The save. Lucas will never be able to save the game. There we go. Like I told you, you can't. I'm not trying to stay here. I'm trying to challenge this girl to a game of cards. Oh! What was that? Did you see that fucking skill then, mate? Oh, we're still on the same rule, though. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Kate stays winning. We didn't take him back in the match, but it's fine. We didn't lose it. Well, I was thinking, if they'd have won, they'd have taken all of our good cars. I'd have immediately turned off the console. Yeah. <laughs> so I, like, there was a little part of me that I wanted to lose on purpose so I could like do the rage quit thing for a funny <laughs> ending. But I guess just having five extra cars is fine too. Perfect. So I'll see everyone next time when we go um, uh, just free Galve idiot. No, I, 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 I know. Oh, you I can't stay know. here, girl. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm really scared of just this thing here. This thing's so scary. It was like the progression <laughs> blocker last session, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Just was doing everything. And I remember as well, Renoa is looking pretty anemic. Sort these items out. Someone's going to be pissed off if we don't do that. Oh, yeah. Christ. Like, Forgot about that. Items. Forgot that we were just getting the Cade cannon out. I was like making the compilation for this because I've said like Final Fantasy is a long ass game. Yes. Uh, so the compilation, I think I'm going to do a compilation for disc one, disc two, and disc three. Oh, okay, cool. I think that's how I'm going to do it. But. Speaking of like this being a long ass game and it's been a week since we played, where the hell are we going? Where are we going? Don't worry, I know where I'm going. <laughs> but what would that be? Imagine that. <laughs> oh, awesome dudes! Oh, here we go, the Galbadian soldier. Better keep cool. your eyes peeled for that one this moment. You know, dear kids, well, dead, threatening kids. Kids! What have they done? Uh, they've got in the way, Carl. That's what they did. So we have to get to the TV station fast. Perfect. So we got reminders anyway, and I remembered because I just double checked what the last episode was. Oh, okay. Yeah. But isn't that an issue with older games though? That you start to notice as you get older and you have less time to just smash out like ten hours of a game mm -hmm. in one go. Where if you play games like, an hour like a week, RPGs. Oh yeah. The resistance are such fools. You were loyal to us. Like this place looks like it's doing pretty well. Mm. Oh, so he's going to give him a dressing down of a lifetime. <laughs> Blindly following orders every day, doing things you don't believe in. What if we're undeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want to do is stand on our own feet and be independent and live according to what we believe. If he screams out now, Wakanda forever, we're fucking done. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, man. He's threatening a guy who's got like rockets in his shoulders. 
That's true. Yeah. He's got like those Samus generators in his shoulders. He it? has. Best thing as well, these guys don't even get like the mini boss music. They're not even fucking worth it. Ooh. It's get him. Okay. Get him. Get him, Zell. Oh, oh, he's down. Zell's gonna finish him off. Do it with the body. Ooh. Oh my god, 420. All day. <laughs> Blaze it. You know that Zell is. He's blazing he, like, all day long. He's got big stoner energy. Yeah. I'll give him that. But that's the problem with old Apigan. There's a moment in this, and I think it's just one of the like biggest roadblocks I've seen in an RPG. Where one of the missions later in the game, I'm going to say this, and there's people out there who play this game who are going to get fucking flashbacks, find the White Seed ship. Oh no. And that is when you get access to the airship. Spoiler, it's a Final Fantasy game, you always get an airship. Mm. You have to go find another ship. It is hidden somewhere on the world map. No. Somewhere on the world map. And they tell you roughly where it is, but it is almost impossible to find. And it's like, basically, from the moment you get, you just turn around and your ship and it's right there. But if you leave the area on which is like this alcove full of rocks, it can become impossible to find. <laughs> because the only map in the game is like a blurry JPEG. Yeah. So I think as well they can't let us go past. And you know what? I respect that. It's the worst mission in the game. Like, there's so many, like, if you just Google White Seed shit, you can find, like, Game Facts posts of, like, the fuck is this shit? I've been looking for it for eight hours. Just true. Why can't Metroid crawl energy? <laughs> the thing is, though, why can't Metroid crawl? is just hilarious. Do you want to explain that? Uh, yeah, it. so... so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, back on the Wii U, there were, stick. like, Miiverse posts where oh, people could base. post up, like, you know, I'm having fun on this game, how, like... Can people help me? Just a cool screenshot, whatever. And somebody who'd never played Super Metroid got the Morph Ball, and then you need to go into the Morph Ball to get back out of that section. They couldn't figure it out, could they? They couldn't figure it out because the game doesn't tell you how to use the Morph Ball. You have to just essentially press down. Twice. Twice, yes. And um, yeah, someone just put on the Miiverse a screenshot of like the, the little Morph Ball space you need to get through saying, why can't Metroid crawl? And the thing is, it sounds like as an adult who's played the game, like, yeah, of course I know like that. How can you be that silly? But as a kid who's used to like modern games where they tell you stuff like it's not even hand holding, it's just we're gonna explain the mechanics of the game to you. Yeah, the game doesn't even tell you how to use this new morph ball you got. I like how she's like, that's fine. Can you imagine doing this in like fucking New York Times? <laughs> no one look around, okay. Oh, yeah, There's a lot more magazines here. These are the battle series, I've read them all. <laughs> yeah! Cute boys like us are always free to look around, Lucas. Remember that. If you're cute, you can do what you want. <laughs> oh, no. Old issue team, Romaniacs. You finished reading Oh, wait. You? Carl? Oh, God. Your screen's gone black. Yeah. Ah, oh, again. Ah, oh, Lucas, don't you love it? <laughs> I was like, I don't why is Carl just continuing? This like stream for me has just gone off. Um, and don't you just love when the Elgato just like shits the bed? I love it. Isn't, isn't it so fun? USB device not recognised. You better fucking recognise the USB device. Oh, no. Computer, you work for me. So I hope you enjoyed that brief break, Lucas. Fuck it, let's read this magazine. Oh, man, I had a anyway. dream the other day where I hired assassins to kill Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, man. The thing is, well, you probably shoot well. I'd watch that movie. <laughs> let's go talk to him again. I've got nothing against Daniel Radcliffe, to clarify, by yeah. the way. You know what? Nothing in particular. <laughs> it was just like, I guess that happened. He's there, look, look. I like talking to young people. It looks like an artist. As a matter of fact, I am. I didn't say anything. That's an artist, all right. <laughs> yeah. That is a fucking artist there, right, isn't it? It's like, oh, did anyone want to talk about um, my music? No. Oh, did you bring a guitar? No, we, we were having drinks. Oh, don't worry, I brought my guitar. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> We've all met that. those guys, haven't we? Oh, no, Carl. What? Oh, it's happened again. Oh, fucking hell, Elgato. Oh, so... That's the fourth reset in yep. 10 minutes. Uh, if anyone watching at home, uh, please don't bother trying to send me advice. I've done everything you're going to write in the comments or send me as a suggestion. Sometimes it just doesn't fucking work. Mm -hmm. There is no solution and contacting like Elgato's help support doesn't work because they just say, well, have you tried update? Yes, I've tried updating my drivers. Have you tried, yes, I've tried replacing the USB. Is your, I've got the latest version of the software, yes. Maybe you need to buy a new one. I'm not going to give you more money. That was the one. It's like, what makes you think I want to give you more money if the thing that you've given me doesn't fucking work as advertised? Mm -hmm. What incentive is there? Or like, what are you doing there to like get me to believe in you as a company? 
It's like, it's like that Simpsons bit. Joe Homer tries to get like his basement repaired. And he goes, well, you're not the only game in town. And he calls up, looks in the phone book, and it's like a guy's face. and just says, I'm the only game in town. I figure it's going to cost you 8500 Forget it. You're not the only foundation guy in town. Let's see. Foundation repair. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh! <laughs> You've got no choice. You have to pay them. So we'll have this conversation again. So some seedy looking guys are heading down towards the pub. I like that. Let's get them. So these guys need to get their ass kicked. Because they're just like roughing up civilians and stuff. They need to learn their lesson. Don't you think, Lucas? Well, they all need to learn the lesson, can't they? They do, yes. Zell, so if they're I'm in our way, they need to get down. Oh, Zell, God, no. I'm sorry, Zell, but we need to get you angry because these guys need to fucking learn. And Zell's like, don't worry, I can take it. God, what? Discord, no. Oh, she zombied him, look. Oh my God, they're being attacked by a zombie! He's coming in! <laughs> Lucas. Ugh, the zombie's here. Zombie Zell. Look at him. so threatening. I know. Bright green. He's the Hulk. He's Hulk's out. <laughs> Puny fucking Galbadian soldier. Because that's a story their commanding officer is never going to believe. <laughs> well, what happened? A, uh, some guy turned into a zombie and, like, just bum rushed us. A, a bright green man <laughs> came up and did what I believe was the world's first 800 hit combo on my testicles. Oh, he's gonna oh. so much. Oh, 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 he's a zombie. Go on. Have I got cure? Can I draw a cure from him? Yeah, I can. <laughs> For the insult, this is his spell. I'm taking it out of his pocket. That's such a good tactic. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at these five different things I've got to buy for all these different status effects. I'm not gonna buy this. But I'm gonna buy these instead. I'm gonna buy nine tenths. Because if I have tents, I can go here. I can go to life and recovery magic. I can go to the tents and I can now give Squall 98 courages. Oh my god. Lucas. I'm not stopping. And let's have a look oh. at Squall. Oh, Squall's maximum health is now 3,000. Oh my word. <laughs> He's got five times as much health as everybody else on the team. Like, what is that show? I want to see it. It's great. <laughs> Is it just game. is it just an art like a piece of art though? It That's the be. question. Look at that. Now I'm getting dissed by some punk. Tell me about the card. Yeah, I found it outside. Yeah, I, I you do not want to know how I got it. Ignore the fact that it's covered in like five different people's blood. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it, Carl. <laughs> it's like don't question it. I also love this animation, you edit. Oh, give me a Tomberry card, which is way better. You edit. Uh. Uh, just drag his ass. Oh! No, <laughs> slides! Please, sir. We don't need any of this. I'm totally wasted. He's totally wasted. What, what a great day for that guy. Yeah! It's like when you go outside um, a nightclub, isn't it? And you just see, like, the wall of people sitting down going, Oh, man, I'm too drunk. Wow, this, uh, <laughs> this line did not age well, did it? No. The marvelling over an outdoor TV is like, yeah, yeah. I'm more marvelling that they're outside. Wow, outside! <laughs> oh, oh god. god. The president's on TV, so we can't rush in. I reckon Squall could rush in. He could. If the president leaves, maybe the guards will be gone too. So we do our broadcast. Oh man. I reckon we can. And Squall's telling her that right now. He's like, look, if you want us to charge in and attack the president, I'll fucking do it. Look, he's saying it right now, look. If you <laughs> yeah. want me to attack the president, I'll do it right now because I'll do what you say. I don't think it's a good idea, but you're in charge. It's like the hypest moment in Final Fantasy is the end of Crisis Core. It's a shame more people can't play that game because it's like a weird rights issue. But the end of Crisis Core is Zack's last stand. And it mm. is the entire Shinra army versus Zack. And it's one of those things that I fucking adore in video games where it is you just fight until you die. It's like the Noble Six moment from Reach. Ah, right, okay. And yeah. it's you fight until you die, and then you have a cutscene of the entire Shinra army just laying waste to him with artillery, and it's like, bring it on.
And he's like, <laughs> fucking hell, Zach. This is how you forge a legend. This is why this dude and like why soldiers in general are so terrifying. We'll cancel yeah. the plan and we'll disperse for now. Okay, great. Like, we got all the way here, Renoa. Come on. I know. Also, the town's on lockdown, so we can't leave. Yeah, you, think really a... you think this is a game to us? It's like, no, I just think that you're not that serious. The only one amongst you who's got any battle experience fires their dog at the opponent. Which is awesome, <laughs> but it's not a great fucking battle tactic. Yeah, look who's here, the real hero. So let's watch cutscenes. Yeah, sound grip guy. Also, I don't know how I feel about baseball caps existing in Final Fantasy. It's really weird. <laughs> Especially with this being like a futuristic sci-fi version of it. That's always the weird thing, isn't it, with like RPGs and like JRPGs especially. Where they have stuff that's, oh, look at everyone looking dressed all super cool. Mm. And then they'll just have a dude in jeans and t shirt. It's like the problem with anime. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, spot the protagonist. Everyone's so, just in like white t shirts, and then you've got the protagonist jeans. in with just 18 belts strapped to him. It's all like, right, okay. So this is an actual broadcast over the air. The first one in 17 years. Excuse me, I've until lost my composure. Yeah, listen to this presidential music. Also, that's not a good title. When you hear someone refer to themselves as the lifelong president, fucking get out of that country. Yeah. Leave, leave if you can, because that's not going to end well. Fortunately, there's some trifling problems between Galbadia and the other nations, and they must be resolved. You keep attacking people. Like, your soldiers are downstairs right now, harassing citizens of an innocent fucking state you want to be left alone. But, Carl, if you rule everyone with, like, the iron fist, then no one will complain by the end of it. Yeah, an imperial peace is not peace. Like, peace at, peace at the edge of a sword mm. is not peace. The, the ambassador will be my representative for the conference. And this is where it turns into a Final Fantasy game. Oh, God. The ambassador is the sorceress. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the, like, you've got a dude in a suit and tie, stood in front of, like, you know, just a very modern, normal-looking, uh, like podium and he's like mm. i introduce now my new ambassador the sorceress <laughs> <laughs> i just let it do. i want to see it a... oh the look who's in oh the edge oh my... also if you look as well you can see that cifa's sword is very clearly through the president's head oh god yeah it is you can, you can clearly but obviously he's killed him in, carl is back it, in the done? day this blur would hide that but the models are now too high quality <laughs> our job is to assist the owls he's it's not our business Squall knows. Ah, shit! Oh, no, it's now it's our job. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no. Oh, he's trying to impress a girl. This is he's never going to end well. Oh, man. Oh, oh, look at him. Shut your damn mouth. He's like, wait, you didn't bring Bruno? Oh, God. God damn it. That's what this was for. Why am I even doing this? Oh, please. I... <laughs> 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 Oh, Squall Sov is coming. Why would you say this, you moron? Zell. No, he dropped us in it. Yeah. He revealed where we were from. Well, we've got to kill him now. Carl, no witnesses. Well, it's happening on TV. It's just been... Um, oh, uh, they're still recording. Yeah. He's just said that loud, like, literally to a, 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 uh, the entire world. Because it was being broadcast live to everybody. Oh, no. And that's why Squall saw that coming. I also just find it funny that, like, you know, that that moment on TV where the president gets dragged away and you just see three people doing 360s, like, whoa! <laughs> poor, poor boy. Oh, God. Oh, she's here. I fucking love that look. Also, her song's amazing. Speaking of, like, good music, this one's great. Speaking of seeing someone and knowing the, the protagonist, look at this, and this look is this just villain. antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> Right oh, here. I fucking love like Edia's soundtrack. Oh, Edia. Stay back. Like, she has got that um, uh, uh, Morticia Adams energy going on in that dress. I mean, a bit more colourful than Morticia. Just a little. Just a little. Oh, you don't know the right answer. He's scared, look. So you've got a, a gun knife <coughs> to the president's head. You should probably, like, stop um, uh, what you're doing now. Stop calling me a boy. Like, she's got his number straight away, hasn't she? Yeah. Like, Idea has known Sifa for all about six seconds, and she has got him, like, figured out. 
Like, this is a puzzle she's solved within moments. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at how easily she's able to just, like, wrap him around a finger. That's the thing, isn't it? Of like, oh, I can look at you and know your insecurity within one, like, one moment. It's like, oh, no, I'm not a boy. Leave me alone. Well, did she really need to walk away to teleport? She could have just teleported in front of us. That'd be way more impressive. That's what I was thinking then. I was like, do you really need to hide behind a curtain to teleport away when we've just seen that you're a sorceress? So the guards are on our side, look. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to, I'm tempted, but we've not saved it in a while. Oh, Carl, do it. Risk it all. I don't want to risk it. If he risk gets... it, Carl. No, I can't. No. Lucas, we can't. We can't take that chance. We'll have to do that at some point as well. Just do the um, uh, the cheat you can do of just find the guide online to answer the quiz to level up to max level so you earn like 15 grand a minute. Oh, wow. Because you wow. can do a quiz to level up. So I'll let you know if anything changes. Till then, make yourself at home. Thanks. Chief. Like, do you Fucking want to play cards? <laughs> Chief. <laughs> I like the idea that everybody's got their own little group. It's like uh, the film The Warriors. Do you know where, every, where everybody is in a gang? Of course, yeah. And you have that really shit tier gang, like fucking orphans, and it's six person. There's six people in it, and their uniform is a dirty green t-shirt. Oh no. <laughs> When's the last time you watched the Warriors? Oh, uh, a long time ago. Like, do you remember the riffs where it's just a load of like black dudes with afros, but they all wear kung fu robes? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's like they're the coolest gang. I want more. Like, if gangs were like that, I'd join one. Riffs. Yeah. Hide under the bed. Do it. Anyway, here's the best line. You had it. The legend goes that my mother took down many soldiers with her strength, cooking and beauty. That's a <laughs> fucking woman right there. When they put strength as well before anything else, mm -hmm. she's a fucking beast. Oh, selfie with a dog! Oh. Selfie's such a bitch. She's not. Do you know what she is? She's cold. She's catty. And she's like, I didn't think he'd actually do it. It's like, of course he fucking did it. He's see if he's a moron. <laughs> <laughs> you trained him. Arca Squall. Ah! You'd be dead. Fuck Good. Hell. I feel sorry. I don't. Like, I don't look, at all. Look at my face. Can you see the scar that nearly blind? Like the Raiden-esque scar I have across my face. <laughs> that is him. Oh, I feel really bad for him. It's like, no, fuck you. He's awful. He's like a prick. <laughs> and it's not one of those where it's like, oh, well, they used to be a bully and now they've like learned the lesson. It's no, like, he's no, he continues prick. to be a prick and now breaks out of fucking detention. Like, he was on TV still insulting us. <laughs> Five minutes ago, he was still calling Zella chicken wasp. So we can slip out now. I'd love it if she just walked up. Don't worry, they're all dead. <laughs> she should have, like, blood on her apron. Yeah. Uh, right, let's leave. So we've been several times. We should be okay. So now Quiz is joining our party. So we've got a pretty decent party going on. Also, can you think of, like, you know, an RPG where you have more female members of your party than male members? Not off the top of my head, no. Exactly. And I think that's one of the reasons this game is also awesome. Mm -hmm. We've now got three female members of the party. So it's actually impossible to have an entirely male party at this point in the game. And the only other party member we get is another guy. So you have three I'm guys. I'm presuming we can't take Squall off. We can't do, like, just the power no. lady. You can move him. Oh. So you can put him, like, on the wings. But I prefer having him in the middle because that means he gets to tap more and he's got the most health. I want the big, huge rune to myself. You'll get there soon. Do you want to play cards? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh that's rough. People mistake this for the station because they live on the fucking train tracks. I'm not really up for playing cards. Lucas. Just, I still want to play. <laughs> I still want to Fuck you. Stop I'm not up for TV. playing cards. I still want to play. <laughs> and the worst bit is as well, she's like, I don't really want to play, but okay, I guess I'll have one game. I'm like, we're playing by my rules, and if I win, I get all your cards. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? No. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh, Selfie's just loving these trains. She loves trains. <laughs> let's do it. Quiz this. Can you show us that cool shit? Oh. Look at that! <laughs> Big on thought. Silence brand. Twerked victory. Oh! oh. Donkey Konga. There we you go then. You, sh you shouldn't have survived. <laughs> this is gonna hurt oh. way more. Oh! Quiz this no! How much damage is she doing with these eyes? <laughs> Just the insult. Oh. Oh. Do it. 
He does less damage, but he looks awesome. Oh, it double hits, though. Yeah, that's why it's better. <laughs> I never realised, like, how fucking rough this environment looks until I played this remaster and I saw what it looks like when it's, like, up -rezzed. It's like, oh. And then oh. They, that's the thing is, it's up and tweaked a little bit, I believe. So this is a slightly better looking version. Yeah. Like, this is the most bare bones of bare bones remasters right here. But fuck it, story. I mean, Carl, like, it's not Super Mario 64, come on. I know. But, like, you look at, like, the environments in the back, like, they, these still look all right. They're a bit blurry. They're blurry, but they are decent, like, in terms of just their nice artistic paintings. Yeah, they, if these just got, like, just once over, they'd look really, really good. Like, you can see, like, how clean the text boxes look in the models. But they're the only things that got, like, properly, properly cleaned up. I think so. the, the issue with that would be, though, like, would you not have to just repaint every background? Yeah, and I think that's one of the reasons it was a ball ache. And I think, as we mentioned at the start of the playthrough, they lost the source code for this. Mm hmm Oh, no. What if we get caught and then get broadcast the whole... Oh, selfie. She's so negative. Let's just keep going. And he's worried about Balamgard. As she should be. Oh, fuck. Oh, he, he knows. Yeah. Oh, if fuck. anything happens, I'm the one who just told them where we're from. I've got to eat that shit sandwich. Maybe everyone's got to get killed and it'll be your fault, Zell. The fact that? that he even turns away from him. He can't even look him in the eye as he says it. Yeah. It's a point. We have a bunch of seeds. Not so much as, oh, yeah, I think if I have an entire army of squalls, you're not going to lose. Like, well, that's the question, is it? Is, like, how powerful are we compared to other seed soldiers? Because if other seed soldiers are stronger than us, they'll be able to take down that whole fucking army. Yeah, like, um, Squall on his own right now could probably take out, like, a good, like, 300 soldiers. Mm hmm. Because, you know, like, their bullets do scratch damage to us at this point. Look at that, you're just a great lead. Fuck you! Where's your party? Thing is, it's just whether everybody else knows how to, like, junction as well as we do. Maybe. I love this. She's giving us shit for how to lead this thing. The only group that she leads immediately bitched out and ran away. Mm hmm. And then Squall's got this right here. I don't believe in relying on others. He's got a really good point. Especially I, I could, how... like, hear that pose from Renoa then. It's like the animations are just like they're talking are so good. Yeah. Like that, um, her handing over the paper it was still my favourite one because it's so sarcastic. <laughs> oh no, Luke's the noise. Oh no. Is it going to happen to everyone or just. That's the thing. Oh. Oh. Who's it going to affect? Oh, I got a selfie. So this time we're taking Quistis with us. So Zell is not part of it. Which is good though because that's the party we have. Oh, shit. oh, we know we're in a party, I forget. I mean, the uh, no, I, th I think we had selfie and Quister, so it must just be maybe that your party goes with you? I, th I don't think it I is want... now. Is it not? It's not, but I think we just guessed right. So now mm. we're going back to um, uh, Laguna. Oh, I lo like the way that they've got those gold rays coming through. They've got it. Remember as well when Call of Duty was like, yeah, look, um, uh, God rays, look how fucking good we are. And someone <laughs> broke down the screenshot where they announced it. And it's like they didn't even come from the sun. Oh, really? Yeah, they were just, like, added in after the fact to make the game look more atmospheric. And it's like, mm -hmm. fuck it now. What should we say? Put a man at ease or I've got a bad feeling? No, just my imagination. It's fine. Ah, it's fine. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> Everything's cool. Fuck it. Are you ready for, like, one of the coolest soldier designs ever? Oh, come on, then. The Esther soldiers. Look at these fucking dudes. What the hell? <laughs> these guys look like Carmen Rider. Oh, also, God, yeah. just look at these fucking cool ass dudes. Are you ready? Oh, the techno's coming in. Oh, the back attacks! Look how cool these armor like, is. These look weird bug armors. They're awesome. Let's fuck them up. Bam, 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 bam. Don't want to go too fast. There we go. Limit. Massive anchor. Fuck you. Oh, look at this man. Are you ready? Goodbye. Oh. Oh! 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 What do you do? <laughs> That's incredible. Is it like, how strong is Ward? Because that thing must weigh a ton. He threw that up, got like, what, 300 foot in the air? Mm hmm. And then jumped the 300 feet to catch it and then Those rides thighs, it down. Man. Those thighs. He's done it. Be make a run for it. Which way, Lucas? Left or right? Uh, right. Uh, what's this? Pick it up. We're in a cave. Oh. 
Like, and those guys like strange miners. blue cave. Mm. Those guys like miners. <gasps> There's a hole in my back pocket. Every time I put the key, oh, my back pocket no. falls out, and I lost the key. <laughs> oh. What? Picked up the old key, lost the old key. Well, that was fucking pointless. Perfect, oh. perfect, oh, perfect. You nailed it. So I want to know more about Ward. Oh, so this fucking theme song, man. It goes. It goes so hard. It does. A big, powerful man. Wields the harpoon, an unusually heavy weapon, and attacks by throwing at the enemy. So that it is canon that this weapon is unusually heavy. And I like how they say that as if that's a normal harpoon. Like, what do harpoon guns look like in this world, if that's a normal harpoon? It looks like a harpoon that you put attached to a gun. Do you want you'd fire from, like, some sort of mechanism? One that, that's like a giant turret harpoon gun, yeah. Yeah. And he's just wielding it like um, a regular weapon, because fuck it, he's a man. <laughs> Back attack! Oh, you know what's happening. <laughs> oh, no. Lucas, they'll never see it coming. <laughs> what? Let's do this. Oh, uh, they don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Ward, no! <laughs> Ward, no! They're just standing there, just having the lunch break. And out of <laughs> just 3,700 damage hits them from behind. What does that feel like? You can bump into uh, enemies in this cave. It's just they're rarer encounters than the Esper soldiers. And the enemies can drop some pretty decent items at this point in the game. Perfect! Speaking oh. of which, do you recognise the card? I recognised the card. I didn't realise they would flow. These are super cool. So let's steal some shit from it. What's it got for us? Dispels. That's a very, very Ooh. good spell. That's a good spell for now. <laughs> Isn't that attack amazing? <laughs> uh, but it potentially is one of my favourite animations in this entire game. <laughs> just because of how fucking brutal this looks. There we go. Let's clear the screen. Oh, oh, I feel so bad for this little asteroid. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, oh, he's here! The Edge Master! Straight from the Shadow Realm. He's done it. This does look like a Yu Gi Oh card. It does. But I love this, though. Oh, infuse it with the Dark Sex energy. Oh. And then this. Oh, look at it, the amount of force it has to put in. Oh my god. Ah! They're just fucking oh. glyphs! <laughs> That looks amazing. For 177 damage. Like, Ward's normal attack did more than that. That's why GFs aren't really that great. But this is a pretty tough enemy. Oh, yeah! Look at it, he's dancing. <laughs> look, he's in crazy mode. We've angered it, Lucas, look. He's in wacky waving uh, inflatable arm tube, man, look. <laughs> this is one of my favourite enemies to fight so far. Reflect. What the fuck is Reflect Beam? Oh, my God! Oh, what is this attack? Jesus. <gasps> Lucas, we need to kill this thing right now. It's time for some limit breaks, Carl. Blood pain this. Get it. Oh, 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 oh. I think we got it. That animation, though, of it flailing wildly <laughs> is incredible. <laughs> like, that looks like one of the most threatening things I have ever seen. Oh, look, look at this cool dude. Look at it. What is this? It's a Gesper. Hand it over. And because Kiros has the highest magic. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> and you'll notice because Kiros has the highest magic, he draws the most. Yeah, he's getting So higher magic means you get more. Ah! <laughs> just, the thing is, though, we didn't actually have to do that. So run. Yeah! Just super, super quick. <laughs> fucking like, speed fuck forcing us now. I just wanted to do that to be a huge piece. Or just hauling that ass. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that must be rough. You want to go to the bathroom during a fight scene. Oh, no. Now we're fighting like the the, uh, the upgraded dudes. So these are pretty tough. Kiros really doesn't do much damage in comparison, though. He does not. But he can attack multiple times. Mm -hmm. but imagine now if, like, Kiros was the one who had... Oh, no. Oh, no. Soul Crush. Oh, oh no. The oh, the Soul Crush. So is that, like, a last gambit? No, that is uh, story reasons. They always do that. Yeah. They always use that move last because Kiros and Ward need to be injured. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to escape. We're going to go back to Galbadia. Let's do this. So you're just going to launch the... them off the side? Yeah. Oh, he oh, oh, yeah, actually is. 
Jesus he's just throwing, Christ, he's throwing him off the edge. Keep in mind as well, Ward has a slit throat. I'm just going to oh, oh. push him off the edge. Just going to... Just gently just... <laughs> oh, no, he falls like a jackass! <laughs> Isn't that great? Like, he just falls off the edge like a jackass. Oh, I love it. And that's the thing as well, where you notice that Quistis was in the dream. So she got to see the story and Zell didn't. Mm -hmm. The only consistent thing is that Laguna is always Squall. And that's supposed to be a hint. of Like, oh, other people can be Kiros and Ward, but Laguna is always Squall. Right, yeah. So let's go, we're almost there. Oh, yeah! So you're just like a foot <laughs> off the ground constantly. You're like, I lied, this is one of the worst spells in the game. It does nothing. Oh, really? No. All it does is protect you from Quake. Is Quake and not super good, though? It is, but almost no enemy uses it. Oh, right, okay. It's and not like competitive Pokemon where everyone has Earthquake. So if you hit it, you're just a perfect backflip watch. Oh. <laughs> just, you feel bad for it, then you realise, no, it wants to kill me. It does. Everything wants Everything to kill me. Everything in this world. Basically, a transfer student to Balam Garden uses giant nunchaku and special magic. <laughs> Got it. That's all you need to know about selfie. My bloodlust has been sated. <laughs> yeah, look at his cool stuff. Look at that. And the robot legs. This is awesome. Look at these starship trooper suits, man. Awesome. They're great. All this says to me as well is that Galbadia Garden is fucking on it. Yeah, it really does. Now look Jesus. at these things. <laughs> I like it, there's no one here. But look at Rinoa, she loves it. That, He's got that other guard was cool, he played cards with us. He did. What about this little kid here? Yes! Yeah, there we go. Take the card. The card Trade from rule. Oh, we're taking this kid's card. Like, he's just come down the stairs. <laughs> Hello, straight. Play cards. And they're all doubles. I've already got all these cards. Select kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just took his cards. What a loser. How long have We've been in here for 30 <laughs> seconds now. We went well, that immediately to the room. So I really don't like this lionization of Sifu. He's a prick. Mm hmm. Is he actually been killed? No. Spoilers. Because that's what I was thinking. I was like... I'm pretty sure that they're not going to kill off Sifa, like... Yeah, he's the antagonist. Of course he's going to come back. Yeah. And then they're like, really oh yeah, the sentence him. has been carried out. Lucas, he was always full of confidence and smart. Well, he's full of confidence, he, he... I'll give him that. Yeah, like one of those things is correct. I just like the one of those, like, he was a prick, but... Like, Even man, his isn't... teachers, like, I don't have any good memories of him. <laughs> The people who knew him best. <laughs> the people who knew him his entire fucking it's like, life. Yeah, like, he was a bastard. I don't have any good memories. He was a dickhead. It's like, yeah. Well, he was beyond troubled. And Rina was like, I met him for 30 seconds. He was a nice Rina guy. I was like, well, I had a summer crush and I think I'm in love with him. I was 16 years old. It's like, okay, Rina. <laughs> I like this. I'm not having anyone talk about me in the past <laughs> tense. If you look as well, every time I talk to him, he does less. So now he's out of rhythm. Yeah, yeah. That's Zell. And Zell's just like, ah, feel the burn. <laughs> just me at the gym. Ah. And look, and this is where you get a close look at um, uh, Fujin's design, where she's got an eye patch. Yeah. Look at her. That the hair and squall just look at each other. It's like, oh, training with Sifu. Yeah. 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 And this little nod as well. I don't know. <laughs> Goes to the head haunt show. <laughs> Just the, the nod of acknowledgement. Explain! We're supposed to go to Timber, but the trains have stopped, so we had no other choice but to come here. I really like these two characters. Oh, God, no. <laughs> She's great. She has such a, like... She has, like, eight lines in the entire fucking um, uh, game. And she's one of my favourite characters in it. Because all she does is scream one <laughs> word in full explanation points. Just lies! And they're like, there's no way Sifu could have died. It's just not like that. It's just not Sifu to be executed. <laughs> it's not. Uh, he, he's just not his style. So we're going to go meet with Sifu. See you, Squall. And there's Run Away. But I love that moment. 
of just she comes down. Lies, yeah. lies, lies. Conspiracy theories. Ruby Dragon. <laughs> they, they don't get much cuter than Tom Berry King. Because Tom Berry King is actually fucking adorable. Look at him with his tiny little lamb and his <laughs> tiny knife. Oh! Look at this obvious villain. He's so obviously a villain. And then Renault's like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh. I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Isn't that cute yeah. though? It's a really neat detail. Yep. So we need a sniper. And we have no one with that skill. An elite sharpshooter. So here's like the, the, the sixth and final party member. And what a fucking introduction this is. Bam! <laughs> Look at this cool dude. Also, he's a sniper, but he's got a shotgun. Of course. Yeah! Assassinate the sorceress. We got to assassinate her. We've got to get her. We've got to shoot her from afar. So is it really our mission? Yeah. We've just got to get this mission. guy here. It's like that great line in, uh, I think it's Saving Private Ryan. You put me within, half, like the sniper just talks about it, says, put me within half a mile of Hitler and I'll end this war in 30 seconds. <laughs> so, should the sniper fail, we are to attack head on. So that's what the mission is. It is, Irvin has to shoot her, and if he can't kill her, Squall has to go in and attack her dead on. Yeah, because that's the thing is, it's like... Kineas' mission is to kill the uh, sorceress. Our mission is to just get him there. Get him there and protect him. And if he fails, just got to fucking go. Just go. And you have a great bit where Squall's like talking through the mission of, look, even if you miss, I just have to jump and attack the sorceress. <laughs> and he fucking does. It's great. So we need to choose our party for the trip to Dealing City. And this is where you realise, oh, Irving's a prick. So this is the party that he wants, Luke. <laughs> it's just him and two girls. <laughs> And you've got to respect it, haven't you? And you can let him take that party. Do it. And you can, you can pull Squall out of the party. Do it. Are you are you wanting to? Yeah. Okay, sure. Have a good time. Because I, I think Squall would just be yeah, what, whatever. <laughs> and the thing is, well, Renoa and Selfie, are like, are you fucking serious? We don't want to hang out with this douchebag. <laughs> and then out of like just fucking spite, they're like, well, if you don't want to hang out with us, we'll go and have a great time. Ah, oh, look. <laughs> Call me Irvine. I'm a pretty looking guy. Hand in hand with two beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen this because I never let him take that party. <laughs> Women, I don't understand them. See, oh, and this feels way more fitting in line with Squall's character to be like, yeah, I guess I, I can't be asked dealing with this prick. And then he's like, wait, did I do something wrong? <laughs> Irvine can eat. Look at that loser. <laughs> I've never seen this fucking cutscene because I never let him pick that mm -hmm. part. I was like, no, fuck you. Because he's that thing of like, oh, I'm going to leave with your girl. <laughs> and I think you end up with the other party. Yeah, yeah. And now they're going to give you the introduction of like, here's how I switch my party members, which I already know and have done like four times. Yeah. And I think, yeah. So Irvine took, he took them both. He did. He took he took our girl. Because I thought we'd be able to play as uh, Irvine with Selfie. It's like, no, they just fucked yeah. off. They're on their own look. <laughs> they just left. And do you want him in the party to see his moves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do oh, it. Just change target. Yeah. Oh, just fucking John Wick it. There we go. Blue magic, laser eyes. I need to kill this thing. Yeah, you do. Oh, oh no. breath of death. I'm scared. Oh, no. It's so threatening. No. Oh, oh no. she's dead. Irvine, you know what to do. Just do it. Empty the clip. That's the problem though, so it's like requirement. Like, I know it's doing zero damage, but no. Oh, for Quistis! <laughs> Empty the clip! <laughs> yeah, Lucas, it had to die. It had to learn. It did have to learn, yeah. And I always <laughs> love the animation of everyone on your team celebrating as just one member of your party's on the floor oh, dead. No. I've always adored that animation. It's just everyone's like. Da, 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 da. It's like. A sh like Squall, Quistis is dead. He's like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> did I fucking stutter? I like, I did not finish doing the da 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 da. Don't interrupt me when I'm doing my da da da. Need to get those saw twirls in, man. Ah, oh, look, he's hard. And Quistis is like, I really don't like this. Fuck you, stand up, laser eyes. Yeah. Do it. 
Oh. It's just so brutal. Nothing has a chance when Quist is like, fuck it, laser eyes. And rise and just selfish straight up. You're ready. Like, yeah, I love trains. <laughs> she knows. She knows. <laughs> and this is why I hate Irvine. Because, like, his immediate first reaction is, I'm going to skeezily hit on every girl in the party. Yeah. And you hit, like, you can overhear him having conversations. Oh, which one do I want to have sex with? It's like, how about none of them, you fucking creep? Because yeah. check out what he's doing. Look, you ready? Oh, fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, he's one of those guys. And this is why I hate the character. A sigh of love. So immediately he's like, yeah, I know you want me. And she's like, I really, she's really like, don't. Please leave me alone. He's like, no, no, no. I like... This will happen. It's like, oh no. But at the same time, Irvine's like, yeah, but which other girl can I also try and have sex with? Because look, he's doing it to them all. Oh, like, fuck for you. Fuck's sake. He's one of those guys. No, oh, no one understands me, Lucas. Oh. You've no idea how hard it is being me. We're loners by nature, fuck like off. squalls in the party. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We hone our instincts, pour our whole being. In. I, I saw you celebrating like a jackass as you were like fucking quick shotting those uh, Murgis ads. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. So now he's like going for the pity root look of like, look, you don't really understand. I'm not a prick. I just act like that because of like um, uh, my past. It's like, so you're a prick then? And the thing is, I think we've all met this guy. Oh yeah, a thousand percent. With the guy who at every house party is just like skeezing on every girl. And he goes to the first girl and if she says no, moves on to the next mm -hmm. one. That someone will say and yes he, eventually, he, Carl. Also, there we go, look. Zell punches the train. <laughs> so that's like, like this is a Sabin reference. <laughs> there was no damage to the train from that uh, minor vibration. It has to be a Sabin reference. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Because Zell just punches the train, and the tra everyone on the train is like, holy fuck, something <laughs> went wrong. It's like, I don't mind, like, you know, the um, the character where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm, like, the, like, loner cowboy kind of character. Where, you know, like, in his first cutscene, yeah. I don't mind that introduction, but then as soon as like, I'm going to hit on everyone, it's like... Now you see him, he hits on Selfie. And then she's like, oh, I guess he's kind of cute. 30 seconds later, he's already doing it to another girl. Mm -hmm. It's that thing of, I'm going to hit on every girl in the party. And remember earlier in the game when I was talking about, isn't it kind of neat how you have more girls than guys on your party? And then at no point is it ever commented on. And none of the girls are, like, um, talked down to mm -hmm. or treated as lesser for being women. They're treated as, like, you know, an equal member of the party. At the moment, this guy comes no... in, it's like, no, I'm going to sleaze on them all. Sake. Yeah, they're all eye candy for him to just skis on. Because so you have the thing with like Quistis and Squall, but Squall's having none of it. But the moment Irvine's in the party, he starts hitting on all the women characters. It's like, fuck off. Get over yourself. So I'm just leaving the town, because we can save in the overworld. And let's just do this straight away. Irvine, go and fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was quite excited you know when what? it's like, oh, the another party member and then 10 minutes later it's like I never want to see him again yeah I, I never want to hang out with this party member ever again because he is just infuriating in every cutscene he's in mm -hmm. like I said the only thing he's told to do he bitches out of at the last minute so Lucas we once again return to the world of Final Fantasy 8 as always fuck Irvine that the, character the world sucks. of just the blocky pixel Carl I love this big blocky pixel world and Lucas we, we, we have a choice we can go do some story stuff or we could explore this new, vast, and uh, wonderful land well, to uh, grind some I shit I don't know what that desert area is over there. Is that somewhere we can go? Yeah, let's go to the desert. I actually heard someone, like, write into um, a podcast like last week, mm -hmm. and it was going, oh, yeah, so I love the Game Genie, but back in the day, I used the Game Genie to max out all my characters on Final Fantasy VIII. And man, that was a rough time because it level scales. Yeah, it's it then there. puts every enemy at max health and they all yeah. have like 99999. <laughs> it's like, this, oh no, right from the start. And this is a Final Fantasy game before they introduced the ability to break the damage limit. I love when they give you that ability in um, uh, Final Fantasy games. There's nothing more satisfying than when you get Final Fantasy X and your first attack is over 10,000. You're like, 
you Ooh, know, it's a big oh one. God, a big one. Big dick energy right here. Yeah, packing a 15-inch prehand salpina. You That's why so. he's got the belts on, Carl. He has to strap it in. I know. It's for, for your safety, not his. <laughs> um, so, use the sword called a Gunblade. Special skill is Renzo Kuka. Using the Gunblade, silent and a bit cold. I thought it was all about the Gunblade then. Like the Gunblade is <laughs> silent. silent. And a it's bit like, cold. It's a fucking gun. It's not silent. It's defo not silent. Let's do this. But yeah, a lot of the Final Fantasy games over the years I've only played through the one time. That, that looks incredible. Yeah, Cade! How oh. dare you touch her! It's great. I wanted to do it again. Want, oh, yeah, he's having it again! Go, Cade! Oh, yeah. Fuck him up! The saviour. Like, this fish has been tanking shots. These fish are super tough. Let's fuck it, Renzo Kuken it. Because look at now. Squall can now get Renzo Kuken on a thousand health. Seven, eight. These things. Card mod, we win. This is it. There's no point playing the game anymore. We don't. We don't need to fight anything. Like, so I, I am not kidding when I say... Teach this is, me. This is the most broken shit in the entire game. So, first things first. Let's just... Get all our doubles. And this is why you don't mind doubles, so. We've got six geezards. So we want to get full deck, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So we want to have um, uh, one. So I'm just going to do this dead quick. We don't need to look. Because these are all like pretty crap cards. Chef's nice. We don't want to do these though. But 100 Lucas. elixirs. Oh my. It's not worth it, but it's Jesus not worth Christ. it. But Lucas, 100 elixirs. How we don't it's, need it's, 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 The thing is though, I'd rather have the cards to keep winning. Yeah. So let's just go uh, life magic for a start, shall we? What we got? So we want some zombies. Fuck it, let's get squall 100 zombies. Done. Uh, Regan's, like, incredible, incredible spell. Uh, who's in a party? It's Quistus, isn't it? So fuck it, let's give yeah. her some of them. We don't need any curers yet, but who needs more curagas? Squall got 98. Fuck it, let's give Quistus um, uh, 40 curagas. So we've got some Kuragas there. Let's go for some Wind and um, uh, Magic. Thundaras. Why the fuck not? Let's give Squall 40 Thundaras. Like, look <laughs> at Already you can see how ridiculous this is going to get, can't you? Oh my god. Oh, 20 Thundaras. Let's Holy just give, let's shit. Let's just give Squall 30 Thundaras. 60 Thundaras. Why not? Wizard Stone. Give him another uh, 15. <laughs> fuck it. That. Fire and Ice. Uh, magic Stone and Fire. I don't care. That's the thing is, though, when you're looking at it, it's like, I don't even care about Fireers, because I can go straight to Fire Argus. Mm -hmm. Like, why would I even give a shit? Uh, Life Magic, we've already done that one. Oh, shit, my bad. We didn't check Ice, did we? No. We can get, we can get like, water, I think. 50 waters, but it doesn't matter. Oh, 20 Blizzards, I'll have those. So we know, as, look at that, we got four from that draw point. We can get 40 from doing this. <laughs> this is what I mean about how fucking stupid this is. Yeah. Uh, time Magic, what can we get from Time Magic? We've got Steel Orbs, we can get 15 Demis. Oh. Let's give Reno a 90 damage. Done. Oh. oh, we get 30 damage. Let's give Squall 100 damage. Why don't we? I know that's not efficient, but I don't care. Oh, there we go. 90 um, uh, slows. Haste, which we don't really want to use yet. Doubles. One of the rarest spells in the game. But we don't want to do just that just yet. Just get 40 of them. Because you junction that to uh, hit and speed, which we can't do yet anyway. And we can ah, use okay. it to upgrade some people's items. Uh, so here are the really stupid ones, though. 20 breaks, which is an instant kill if you put it on status effect. <laughs> let's just give Quist. Let's just give um, uh, Quisty sixty of them, I guess. Mystery fluids. This is the best, one of the best um, uh, spells in the entire game. What does Squall meltdown do? Yeah, it remove. It sets an opponent's defense to zero, oh and it works God. on. It works on every enemy in the game. So and every enemy well, in the game. Including now that bosses, we've got this, like you don't even, as you say, need to be fighting. No, because you can just be getting everything you ever need from card battles. Yep. Oh, look at that, we can turn a healing wall into two tents. And two tents, remember, turn into... A tent turns into ten Kyragas. Mm -hmm. So let's now go get... Oh, a turtle shell turn into protect stones and aura cells. We don't use any of them yet. Then we can do all that later. But uh, yeah, that was pretty good. We got some more life magic. So we got a few more tents, didn't we? So who needs more Kyragas? There we go. Oh my god. And then before we do that, we're going to items. Just Where's my sword? There we go. And then we're going to junction. Hmm... Lucas, so just keep, take a look at the stats. Pretty good. Okay. Let's do auto. Oh, there we go. Her strength Ooh. is now like 50. Nothing too good yet, but you can see, Lucas, how fucking broken this is already. 100%, yeah. So all we need to do now is go play, like, a couple more games of cards, and every game of cards is going to be giving you at least two or three items that can be turned into 20 different spells. 
So do all those people out there, like, oh yeah, this game takes too long to get magic. How long did it take me to get like 50 fucking stars? Yeah. <laughs> so how powerful do we feel now? So like, there's no point us even battling anything now. Let's, I mean, guess, go get some more cards. Go get some more fucking cards. That's why this game's all about cards. But we do need to see though, what a Renzo Kukun looks like from Squall now. There we go. Oh, she petrified him. <laughs> she's, cause she's got petrified on it. Oh, this has gone poorly. This has gone poorly. Fuck it, let's kill everyone. So let's wake him up, shall we? We've got that spell, but I didn't Chris, this is just now. Like, yeah, I, I'm my sorry. bad, my bad. I'm really sorry. I well. forgot to give Renault like the strength boost. Here we go. Well, Gizard, fuck you. <laughs> I'm so Lucas, I'm sorry. No, you're not, Carl. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, like, that's like 3,000 damage. Where you bump ah, into okay. um, uh, enemies that drop really good magic. But the problem is. Carl, don't get by a drain. No. Fuck you, get out of my way. Touch <laughs> the drain back. So we're doing this again. Like, we've got more money, so we buy more tents. Because remember, Luke, what the tents equal? Tents will cure Argus, aren't they? Yep. So let's go give yep. Christus, like, a thousand more health, shall we? Oh, my God. Life magic. Where are my tents? There we go. So what's Christus' health at now? Uh, so they've both got 3,000 health. <laughs> Lucas is the most broken OP shit ever. Like, think the most damaging attack we're coming across is like, oh, we've got no money, though. Oh, oh no. So when they go sell something now, for say. So we need to go talk to Carol, um, Caraway, but they tell us to do something else anyway, so. General Caraway's mentioned. I can't just let you walk in. Yes, indeed. But I was ordered not to let you through until your skills have been tested. We have, like, 8,000 HP between us. <laughs> so, the Tomb of the Unknown King to the Northeast. I'll have to go there, but I have to bring back proof you were there, a code number. So we will have to remember this, hopefully, between recording sessions. Okay, cool. Because if we forget, I think it changes at the start of every game. Ah. And we say with the ID number. We should be able to find what you're looking for shortly after you go in. I know where it is, but I don't remember what it is. And he gives a map, which is terrible. So, Lucas, I'm going to need you to do big cheats in a moment because the map is not very helpful. Yeah, I know. There we go. That's why it's end that. So if he scores that town, we've got to do all this run again. Ah, okay. Surely someone in town wants to play cards. Not one of these guys like doing the bus station there and want to play cards. I don't know. Better stock up what's there when he starts. Oh, all these JPEGs. Yes! Say, trade rule all. Fucking yes. Alright, let's get let's get some fucking upgrades done. Angelo in Tomberry King. Let's go. I don't care. We win. There's like, here's take the first route, then the second route, then the third yeah. route, then the fourth route. Because we can go in there and get a new GF. Okay, how long it took to like fucking play that card? God, I've not got all fucking day, mate. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Oh, trade rule one, quit. So we might have lost um, trade rule all. Yeah, we may have played too much cards in this region. Ooh, oh, oh, why? Why did you want this fight? <laughs> oh, thank it sucks we get a new move because he's got a new oh. weapon. So now we get the new one of these, look. Ah, you dick. Oh, that looks so cool. Fuck you, yeah. we've killed everything. We're not even gonna see Quistus' move. And then just cave cannon it. <laughs> We don't have time. Just like she's just gonna fucking annihilate it, look. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a chance. We didn't even have a chance to see Quistis' finish because we were too busy <laughs> doing everyone else's. Yeah, every time you get a new weapon, you get a new uh, limit break for Squall. Oh, oh just... my god! He does less damage than laser eyes because her attack's not great, but fuck it, Renzo Kukin it. Just... Holy shit, <laughs> What Holy even shit. stands a chance now? Yay! Ah, looks so there's some people who went in and then it's like immediately cowered out. And they give you the only pro tip you need. Float. Float. And it's the only time that spell's ever useful. Ah, uh, okay. And that draw point over there is float and it's you cast it on the boss in here because it gets health back when it's on the floor. Spoilers, he's not going to live long enough for that to matter. Mysterious statue. Grr. And you know as well he's not even tough because he hasn't even got boss music. He's just here. Yeah, look at this cool dude. <laughs> Kit. Look at his big mates. So is this the new GF? Uh, yes. Ooh, he's oh, got, cool. a new, got a new spell. So let's seal his spells. And then Renzo Kukin in to kill him. Oh cool, he's got life, which is a really good spell. But unfortunately, he's not going to help him because... <laughs> ah, eat a fucking dick! Yeah, he's, he's gone. He runs away, look. <laughs> Wait, what? Boss fight over. I do like that when it falls over, you can draw more magic from it. Let's doom it. Just to be a dick. And then just draw um, uh, 
protects the shells from it while it dies. When it gets... Oh, fuck you! Oh, Luke's dead. What chance does it have? Oh, my word. That's the thing, 24 turns. Because the tough for the enemy is the hard way to kill with Doom. Ah, okay. Actually, no, it's seconds. Okay, I thought it was turns, not seconds. I just keep getting protects while it dies. So, what, what does this feel like for this enemy? Where it's lying down on its back and all it can see is just a number counting down as it feels magic getting ripped out of its ass. It's like, please, please help! Help me! And we're like, no, you've got protects. You've got protects that we need. Give us these protects. Release your treats. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. oh, the ghost! Like his soul just fades away. Oh, oh. He just dies. Oh, that was God. beautiful. That was so fucking beautiful. I'd forgot that just like the soul rises out of the body. It's like that legendary gif of like the Winnie the Pooh falling over and his soul floating to heaven. <laughs> I love that one. Back again. Took you easy. Like Lucas, he took it easy on us last time. <laughs> this time, my big bro is with me. Now's your no, chance no. to run away. He's big bro. And I love this as well. It's one of my favourite tropes. The bigger one is the small one. <laughs> Look at him. They crash the two when they attack me. Not bad for a human. Surprisingly small. <laughs> it's great. Foolish little human. So now the real battle begins. Okay, cool. You need to start thinking of a name for these two. Because they work as a pair. Yeah, we could call them, like, Doublade. Ooh, that'd be good. There's two of them. Oh, oh Lucas. The, re <laughs> the rest is up to you, bro. <laughs> Immediately. Just like, so, I'm, no, no. I'm sorry, bro. And, like, he's got life, which is a good spell, but I don't want to waste the time. Just end it. End it right now. <laughs> that squall. Just, come on. Just put him out of his misery. He's, he's just seen his brother die. Fuck him. The worst bit is now, we'll never be able to hear the end of this song ever again. The breakdown comes too late that we're never going to hear it in another fight. Because <laughs> Squall can now just one hit kill everything. Sacred Scout, and we get their card. Well, let's just look at these GS for a moment, shall we? So you're not supposed to have um, uh, Gengar yet, but you get these guys first, and then you'll be strong enough to get him. We right, got him the yeah. moment we left the delay. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so they do have HP Junction as well. Oh, yeah. And Strength Junction. There we go. That's what's Brunella's health looking like now. There we go. <laughs> so this is the party. Lucas, look at it. Look how strong we are. And it looks like we're dying, but we've got more health than anything in the game. And all we need to do is just do this, watch. There we go. Nothing can kill us. And it looks great, because it just makes us look like we're really tired. <laughs> like, we're so sick of battling. Like, we're so... It's like One Punch Man, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it really there's is. nothing's a challenge, so we're just bored. Like, it's not even worth this. Like, she probably has the worst one. But, oh, holy. That'll do I was about to say she's the worst one, then she has this shit. What does Renzo do? Uh, just mass damage to one enemy. Uh, you don't get holy till way later in the game. <laughs> you have not heard of holy, so... Uh, you can imagine, though. Oh, oh. God! It just it ascends. Oh, he's going to kill Zal. Selfie. You know what to do. Oh, Empty the clip. Viraga. Empty the clip. Do it. Huh! <laughs> Just empty the clip selfie. Make, make it explode three it's times like, so It needs to suffer. <laughs> oh, that third one. I hope the third one falls it through the afterlife. <laughs> yeah. He just arrives at the gates of heaven. It's like, well, you're not allowed through the gates until you face the fire arc that you didn't face in life. It's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> no. Oh, it's okay. like um, every Final Fantasy game has something known as the Peninsula of Power. And I think it goes back to like a glitch in one of the old games where there's just like a small section of the game where it's just a high level enemy spawn. <laughs> and every game um, subsequently will have one. So I know this is like the proper peninsula of power, but um, you have an island that's called the um, island closest to heaven and the island closest to hell that just have end game enemies there. And once you get the airship, you can go kill those. Ah. Oh. So this isn't it, but we might find some like better enemies up here. So let's just do this, shall we? <laughs> just so we can find the area that I'm talking about, so I can't remember where it is. Uh, Lucas. Uh, look at this. Look at this video oh, game. Word. And this is why we're not doing this the entire time, even though we could. It's yeah. Cool. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, uh. So I just know it's on the edge of something. So I'm just going to like hug the rim. Like hug the edge, as it were. 
So will you know it when you see it? I'll know it when I see it, but we're not there yet. And it just helps me to like do all this running. I just know it's on the edge of something. Here we go. Yeah, so it's here. Ah, okay. So you just find like some um, higher level um, enemies here that drop good items and are worth a lot of XP. Oh, cool. Yeah! This cool thing. Let's kick his ass. Brother. Double A, let's bring him in. There we go. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> Slap these slaps, dude. Thunderstorm! Bring it in. This looks so fucking awesome. Let's go, quick call. Behold its majesty. Oh, there we go. Majesty. Looks fucking sick, doesn't it? It does. Oh, it looks worse. He's buried. Yeah. <laughs> Just there, struggling. Brotherly love. Brotherly love. Oh man, this is great. Oh, oh, oh! Clean oh, that man. Nothing underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Little bro, go. Yeah, paper. Oh, <laughs> you know what that means. It's your turn to- oh! <laughs> uh, it's Sometimes it's just worth seeing those animations. It's, it's incredible doing that on this enemy as well. Yeah. Oh. Just being buried underground like the head just floats back down like that. Nah. Oh, right, okay. It's like that, that Diglett tech. Yeah. Oh, Lucas, rise. <laughs> you want to see, like, this is- um, Eryphic never misses back day. Look at that! That full stretch all the way back. Blade away from Squall. You know, and I feel mean doing it, but it means that we can now give Selfie double blade. She got mm. three GS, so she's like, you know, she's swagging it out a bit. But now we can just do like forty-two damage, just, just to put her in line with everyone um, else. Can on the you team. not give her strength plus forty? I can, yes, I believe. Oh God, no! This is a great function to add. In. It is for like um, uh, the overworld, but I don't want to do it anywhere else. No, fuck you. No, no, no. Yeah. Ugh, like Lucas. Oh no! I can outrun the train. <laughs> I'm the fast. My name's Barry Allen. I'm the fastest man alive. Ah, no! <laughs> Do it, kill. Do it. Come on. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I fucking know it. Ooh, let's see if we can go get some cars from here, though. Do it. Let's go fast. <laughs> let's see if like, the rule has spread to here yet. Hmm. Ah, fuck. No one's gonna let us play cars, mate. We're not gonna like. We're not gonna like. I don't think we can rinse people for cars anymore. Oh no! Yeah, until we can get back to the Queen of Cards and reset all the rules. Unfortunately, let's have one game dead quick. Let's have a turbo game. Let me do that. No. But we can do. We can. Luke, we can grind this out. Ah, okay. Cards out. We'll take the cards off. That is like one of my favourite Final Fantasy enemies. Yeah. What's and then we do that. So we can just do that over and over again and win. It's one of the best spells in the game. Oh, Luke is going to fall for it again. Oh! Every time. The fuck you. What do we want? Cool. Oh, no. I'm addicted. Because that's the thing as well. You I always know. you always want to take more. Right, but this tactic is working so easily because she's playing the same moves every single time. Because she's giving us like somewhat decent cards. This. And one more. It'd be rude not to win. <laughs> uh, that's the thing because I know I want more. Oh, Luke, what are we going to do? Oh. Oh, <laughs> and then she takes it, and then I take it straight back. Give me anything else. I did give him like a hundred, like all these cures, but we're not really going to do anything either. All right, yeah, yeah, pretty powerful party. It is pretty fucking powerful, and all that from cards. Yeah, that's what Lucas. That's the fucking power of cards. It's the power of you get right there. It is. That's what happens when you believe in the heart of the cards. And next time <laughs> we're gonna go do some missions, and I get the feeling. That is going to be very easy for us to assassinate the sorceress with our current equipment. I've got straight into it, girl. Oh, man. I will say as well, I love the song of Dealing Say. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's like, isn't it like a proper bop? Mm. Do, 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 do. I, I heard this so much as a kid because I remember getting lost when you have to do this very mission we're on right now. Because I did. He says, oh, it's to the northwest. As like an eight year old, I don't know what northwest means. So ah, I ran around right. the entire map looking for where I was supposed to go, and that's how I ended up at like level 80 on disc one. <gasps> but they've got a dog. Look at that dog. Oh my god, look at that dog's animation. <laughs> look at his walk animation. Uh, uh, uh. So do you remember what the password was? 
13. All right, let's give it a go. I'll do a three. Oh, no, yeah! I, I actually just remembered something for once in my life. I like that. Sees that meant to question why we soldiers. Oh, God, Zell is now inside selfie. <laughs> Start your fan out here, folks. What a knob. And then Quistis shoulders through the chair. <laughs> I like that. He's making his weight quite a bit. Like that is some fucking swag in it. And then we're now we're like usual zero personality. So discourteous. I ain't gonna go complete. Yeah, do it. Oh God. We've got Karen just, dear. Yeah, it's got Karen and now. Also as well. You ready for the um, uh, the twist? This is my house. <laughs> She's a rich kid. Of course she is. She's a rich kid who's like I can make a I can make a difference. Oh no. So this is just her like Rebel. thing of the week, is it? Yeah. She has received the type of training. Do you know what? That's a fair point. He has he has got a point here, hasn't he? Yeah. She has not received any training and she will become a burden. Also she fires a dog at people and I don't want that in the news. But she is literally just a, a rich kid looking to pass the time. Let me explain the plan. Oh yeah. This is why I just like um uh, wanted to prepare for this part of the mission because it's, this is just a good long while. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Oh! Lucas. Oh, my word. Challenge our power. Oh! How do you defeat this? Just get stuck behind someone so you do like the, the, the <laughs> mini... Oh, no, they've got too far ahead. So you'll split up into two teams and get in position. The gateway team, oddly enough, will be at the gateway. Oh, I've got to avoid it. We need her because we need a sniper in the face. We need to shoot this woman in the face. All right, so Lucas, uh, do you see... On like the, the right of frame, bottom right, there is that small like hatch. There is, yeah. Yeah, that's um, part of the environment that you have to click. What? Yeah, and that's one of the things I got stuck. I, I so I got stuck for like you know a couple hours trying to figure out where the fuck to get the previous um, uh, password was, and then I got stuck in this part of the map. It's like okay, you need to get underground. How? You click on that part of the map there. Oh. I, so I just had to pixel hunt through this section here because was this is before guides, mate. But there is a oh, hatch God, that leads to the awful. clock tower because it says that little as a hatch. But bear in mind, for me as a kid, I heard that like five hours previous. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to remember that there's a hatch, and he shows you it right there. But essentially, we're going to trap her in here, and then sniper right from the carousel because like it, I'm I'm guessing none of that's going to distract a sniper. It's like, could they have put him in a place where there is more things to distract him? Like, dancing, flashing lights in every yeah. direction. Just, uh... Look at that in the background as well. Look at that, like, Nights into yeah. Dream shit in the background. That does look a bit like a Nights character. Have you seen this little Balan Wonderworld already on sale? Of course it is. Yeah, it's already on sale for, like, half price. Fuck And what, this game. is, like, less than a month after it came out? Yeah. And have you heard the rumour as well they were going to put it on Game Pass but the quality is so low that Xbox doesn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> and that is like a rumour I 100% believe and will never be convinced otherwise of. Yep. The leader must carry out a direct assault against the most powerful person on the planet. But like Carl, got. Irvine doesn't miss. So yeah, he fine. never misses. But if he does... But Carl, it's okay he told us he never misses a shot. Plus as well, I love this as well. Everyone just looks at Squall. <laughs> and he's like, fuck it, I'll do it. And I love as well, Selfie's like, she's so hyped to murder the sorceress. Look at her. Although she's, she's so... not moving at all. We're on your team instructor. Let's kick some fucking ass. Let's do it. Ugh. Oh, God. Watch, no. watch your fucking step. Slow your roll, Rinoa. It's supposed to suppress the sorceress's power. It's well, that would have been fucking helpful. Yeah, as well, but its effects are still unknown. So I don't think they're going to... Yeah. Do you know what? That's a good thing when failure means the end of the world. Don't mm -hmm. bet it on chance. As well, it's not... It's, a, it's Odine brand. Because you think Odine bracelet or bangle, that sounds like some ancient super cool shit. It's like, no, it's a brand. Yeah. So that means like they're the number one when it comes to magical. I don't trust any company that mass produces magic. <laughs> Doesn't sound ideal. So what's actually going to do with it? You better have the sorcerers put it on. Yeah, that's it, Quistis. Get her dressing down. Look at her. 
Renoa is so up her own ass about this. Well, this is what we're going to discuss. I'm part of this. Like, no, you're fucking not. Like, we've literally just started the mission. Like, come on, we literally don't have time. This isn't a father-daughter quarrel, and it isn't a game. Look at her, she's like powering yeah. about it. Well done, Quistis. And this is why Renoa ruins everything. So what's up? Maybe I was too hard. So our mission now is to go apologise to Renoa. Oh, fuck off. God, look, she's pouting like a child. Yeah. Pouting. And then we run in. Oh, now we're locked in. So it's, it's, it's a panic room. We're now uh -huh. locked in the panic room. We do get a great cutscene now, though, which I think just fle is the PS1 flex. Possibly one of the biggest flexes of the PS1 era. Ah! Oh, oh my it god. It didn't work. That look didn't look great. No, but look at her plan. Wasn't that a great plan, that Lucas? Oh dear, I know where. Oh! Oh, wrong. Oh. Wait, oh, that's meant to happen. I thought yeah. that was glitching out. Yeah, she's a sorcerer. She's got magic powers. Oh god, that looks so cool. She falls so Fucking rough. right. Look off. at this flex! Oh my god. Look at that shit! That is a fucking flex. If anyone's thinking. That doesn't look that impressive. This is a PS1. Final yeah. Fantasy VII was on the same console. And think about, like, Sephiroth's hair in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> the giant fucking polygon. That is his... Oh! oh. The flex! That looks so fucking yeah, and good. Then, this like, is PS1. The, like, fur around her neck and everything. Yeah. The material, which is, like, slight, as you said, slightly see-through. You can see some of the environment through between it. Her hair. Mm -hmm. That's not easy to do. No, And then that not. as well, which is, like, the like, liquid It probably is effect. now, but back now in... Now it is, yeah. 1998 or whenever this came out, it wasn't. Like, it is. I, I cannot overstate how difficult all of that is to make. Like, let's put it into perspective of, like, back in the day when I um, I got no. this game, I watched the opening cutscene over and over because it looked that good. Like, just think, Sephiroth's hair. The previous game, like, you know, like, if you think of the mm. same company. So you went from Sephiroth's giant polygon hair to that. Yeah. Hey, that girl. You mean that one you've been skeezing on for the past, like, three hours, mate? Are you uh, all right? Like, what's going on? Oh. oh! Oh! Who could have expected this? Oh, then the zoom out! He is the present, that's a pretty ballsy move. To do it live on stage as well, and everyone's yeah. like, yeah, get hype! It's like, oh, I didn't do it, honestly. It's like, we've got live footage and thousands of eyewitnesses. I will say, though, it is a pretty baller move to go out on stage and say, fuck y'all. <laughs> Yeah, fuck y'all. I'm going to kill your president and call your filth the trash. It's like, okay. I'll say, like, if someone out wearing that outfit. Wearing that yeah. outfit, you pull it off. Like, Joe, just the um, the Morticia Adam. And let's just end this ceremony. The sacrifice. Oh, the power. Oh, no, what's she doing now? This is great. I love this bit. Because, again, think about this as a PS1 game. Oh, Reptile. Oh, Gex is in. Yeah. It's Reptile. Wait, is that like a weird, like, centaur lizard? Yeah, it's like a half light. It's part of the um, the gargoyle thing. But, oh! Rawr. And then you oh just see it. Like, look, that looks terrifying. Dude, that, that, no, look how hype they're getting. And Irva's like, we've got to go help her. The squall. Nah, the gate's not open yet. Well, the thing is, like, how are we going to get in? It's the presidential fucking mansion. Ladder climb animation. Mm. No game's ever done it right. So what do you prefer, nah. Luke, when it comes to ladder climbing? Do you prefer baked in canned animation like that? Or do you like the um, just Halo style your character floats up? I just prefer the floating up. Because it's quicker. So you ready? Lucas, again, would you know to press A at that? What? Yeah, would you have known? Also, what do I do now? Oh, this gate opens. Oh my... Yeah. Oh, would you have no. known that as a kid? Oh no, in a battle. Oh, 26 damage. Oh, I love that death animation. <laughs> so, Zell has 78, and if he had no junctions on him whatsoever, he'd have 10. 
So he has 800% higher vitality than he should have at this point in the game without GFs. And then they tell you in the game, some people don't think GFs are very good. Yeah. Also, Lucas. Yeah, oh, what? This is the what? flex. The flex! Oh, look at this shit! Oh, that... That's fucking, you. like, seamless. The, like... It's a bit blurry, yes, but... Yeah, a little bit. hell, this... All I need people to pitch while this is happening is just Cloud's model. When oh, you're seeing PS5 all this bullshit. loading times, eat your heart out. But even that fire. Yeah. That fire looks good. That fire looks better than the fire in some games. And then, oh! <laughs> then he's dancing and shit. Look oh, at his bow cap. Run him over. Look at his fucking mo cap, man. And look, and it's even going the way that the guy said it would. Yeah, it is, yeah. So it's following the path that he said it would. I will admit though, that does look pretty fucking hype. It does look quite hype, yeah. Yeah, and then we have this. Quick, let's go. <laughs> Reno might die. Haul ass, haul ass, haul ass. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to run during this scene. And Lucas, you said you like the seamless shit. You get ready for some more seamless shit. Run oh during God. the cutscene. Oh, You're oh, running during the oh. cutscene. Look at him as well, yeah! That's the equivalent, he's pointing a gun at the crowd. <laughs> and people are cheering for him. He's going full heel, Carl. Look at, yeah, do your hair. Make sure it looks good. That is a pretty ball away to arrive at a party, though, I'll be honest. That is. Look, oh. we're in the cutscene! Like, yeah, obviously the models are of different quality, but fucking yeah. hell! This is a PS1 game! That is ridiculous. And this is where you escape, look. This is where we escape. Yeah, I can I can see for someone who wasn't paying attention 100%, that would just be impossible yeah. to know it is. Dun, 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 dun. And as well, would you expect something this like mid-boss to have a GF? No. Lucas, it's time. Do it, please, Carl. Dun, dun, just as the music kicks in. Ah, fuck you! I just fucking open fire on it. Oh. Like an absolute champion. Now imagine if each of them was doing like a thousand damage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm a piercing ammo. Eat my ass. This is why, Lucas. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Rail. I don't care. Rail. It's already dead. <laughs> and you can see why people like this character for that. Yes. But at the same time, no, fuck this character. And he's got a big diamond on its head. Two things that immediately jump out to me yes. are uh, Save a Lie or Celebi. What do you prefer? Because it's got the big diamond. Because it has got the big diamond, like Save Lie. And it does um, hide behind the diamond. That's its whole thing. Let's do Save Lie then, yeah. But it is like a rabbit. But it's got it's got that big diamond. It's got the big diamond, yes. Yeah. So Save a Lie, let's go for it. Save a And it is just Sable and then I, yeah. And then I think it's just it Y-E just, just, after Sable. Just the one E, yeah. I was, I was thinking then. Because it didn't look right, but I wouldn't have known unless I wrote it out. Yeah. <laughs> Sable I. So we've got like, a new is GF. Is it Sable and then just the Y-E, or is it Sable? And as well, we got a new GF. Let's go check it out. Look, cap, oh, look, yeah. look how adorable it is. Oh my god, level 16. Yeah, man. And it's not that great at the start, but get recovery medicine from an item and HP Junction, which obviously we want. And then counter is a really good attack, but uh, you know what? These ones are always useful to have. Yeah, and we've got HP Junction on all three characters now. We so. do now, yes. But you know what? I feel like Squall needs some fucking extra vitality. 105 strength. Oh. <laughs> what chance does any enemy stand? Mm -hmm. Because I thought, oh, go all the way back down and run out. No, you take this bit here. You take this. It's... Oh! I'm so glad that I knew about it. And then it just teleports you to where you need to go. So you don't have to run all the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah. But how frustrating is that? You will have to fight Seether. So he's not dead, but I might have to kill him if he gets in my way. <laughs> also, he's, um, uh, he's pussing out. I can't do it. Oh, no. The creeps took it. Punch it, Zell. That Zell. did look great, though. Oh, he made... Oh! Shadow boxing takes on a new meaning. <laughs> Get it, selfie. There we go. Perfect. Phew. Just made it. Oh, look at this. It's so fucking good. It looks so good. Here we go. 
Irvine, now's your chance. It is. Like, you've got, literally, you have one shot. <laughs> Take it. And considering how much he was shooting his shot with Renoa, Selfie, and Quistis, it's weird that he won't take his shot now with Idea. Come on, man. Just kill her. I love that a parade float's got the same, like, floaty thing on his back as she has. Quick, hit the switch. <sighs> right, we got this. She's pissed. As she would be. She's my day, man. Okay, Irvine. Take your shot. Oh, <laughs> Lucas, no. I never miss. I always choke. <laughs> what oh is it? Oh, my God. Is it that you never miss, or is it that you always choke? Hmm. Because if you... You can't say that you never miss if you never actually take the shot. Just shoot. You're not killing her. You're signalling my attack, because I'll go save the day like I always fucking do. It's like, oh, well, I know you're going to miss because you're a bitch, but just take the shot, please. Yeah, because it, I can't t I can't attack the sorceress until you miss. And again, like, just fucking flex. Oh! Oh, it, mate. Of course. To be fair, like, it did look like he could have hit her. He could, yeah, it was a good shot, but, like, she's a fucking sorceress. It's okay, your aim was perfect. Leave the rest up to me. So, and this is where Squall tells you, look, this is the team that's going to fight them. Hmm. So, make sure they've all got their shit junctioned. It's time. And this is why Squall's the fucking best. Huh! Oh, yeah. yeah! Let's show them how it's done, Lucas, shall we? Squall's like, I'm going to get a fucking job done. <laughs> this is how it's fucking done. Oh, it just steals the car. What a done. I suddenly have a lot more respect for Squall. Look at it as well. He was told, attack the most dangerous person. You just saw a deflector bullet with a bare hands. He's like, I've got this. Yeah. Cool. Dun, dun, dun. I'll do this shit. And the idea is getting all kinds of wet about it. She's just like, yeah, bring it. Man. You notice well with Sifa's model being a lot high quality, you can see that he's actually scowling. Yeah. <laughs> like he's actually scowling. And so is Idea. She's just like, huh, I guess you're here too. Oh, there, yeah, that's right. Joey you know should play now, man with a machine gun. He should play <laughs> Laguna's theme. And it gives me full health, because of course he does. Just in case that he didn't have time to heal. So what you got? What you got? So let's see what he's got, because he's not going to kill me. Oh, I can take it. Give me. He's got some cures not for bad. us. I think he's just got fires and curers, but it's worth checking. Yeah, there we go. So he's used his magic. And then, GF wise, let's just show off Sableye, shall we? Um, oh, look at oh it! Oh my god. <laughs> so it gives you a free reflect. Oh, uh, okay. And you can probably imagine this is really useful against the sorceress. Ow! That'd be. Painful. Like a little oh. amount of damage. Lucas, he lost. Oh. Oh, Seifert, what a bit. Ah! Two attacks is all we need. A seed planted in a run-down garden. And here's the real battle, right? Yeah, of course. I say the real battle, but it doesn't fucking matter, does it? My God, does her model look good? Mm-hmm. Like you said, the, the translucentness of her shit. Yeah, it's back. really cool. I can fight if I'm with you. No, I have to redeem myself. Why am I with the loser party? You really are. You've got like the two least likable ones on your team. So let's do that again, shall we? Oh, it's a cast on the entire party. It does, yeah. And she does like the most powerful spells in the game. So immediately just cast it. Like, it's, not like, it's not that necessary, but still. <laughs> it's not because of our setup, but... It is as well, Lucas. I need to redeem myself to a shotgun to a point blank range. Oh, she's we got it know out the for Renoa. to redemption is just fucking. Like shocking. she has got it fucking out for Renoa, aren't she? Oh, he's doing so much fucking damage. We're doing so much damage to her. So Renoa, um, end it. Wow. Oh. 
from an Irvine. It's just a shotgun to the tip. That's gotta hurt. I imagine it's like in um, Kill Bill. Joe, where uh, just the bride gets hit in the chest with rock salt. Oh, God, yeah. And it's like, imagine how much that would hurt. Like the point blank range rock salt just to the chest. Impudent seed. She should cast a GF right now. <laughs> I kind of wish like she had one. This is where all the weird fan theories about this game come in. So you ready? Ow. So have you ever heard the fan theory that Squall's dead? Yeah. So the theory is that when she hits him with that, it kills him. And the rest of the game, he's just like a fever dream as in hospital. Because oh, this is where the game starts turning into like just Final Fantasy style nonsense. Right. Whereas yeah. up to now it's been somewhat realistic. But you see right there. It's been semi-grounded, yeah. Yeah, but like that is through the fucking chest. Like that is, yeah, he's fully impaled there. And that's what the theory is, because, like, spoilers, we end up going to space. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, such a radical departure from the start of the game. So that's it. That's disc one. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, there you go, disc two. Disc one. All completed.